Surprise, motherfucker! Dylan! You son of a bitch! Hey, everybody! Uh, welcome back to another episode of the Final Fantasy VII Marathon. We're finally picking up where we left off with uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake. I didn't stream yesterday like I thought I was going to, but stuff came up. Um... There's not much I can say to intro this game. I mean, I played it before, four years ago. Uh, it picks up right where Crisis Core uh, FF7 Reunion left off, the game we just finished. Um, like, literally, the post-credits ending scene of that game shows a remade version of the very beginning of the, the Mako Reactor 1 bombing mission for the original FF7, and it says to be continued in Final Fantasy VII, right? So that's what we're doing. We're starting Final Fantasy VII over again, but this time we're doing the remake version. Now, four years ago, I played the PlayStation 4 version because that was all that was available when this game first came out. Since then, they released the PA PS5 upgrade, which was free for those of us who bought the PS4 version, uh, with all the DLC included, um, the little add-ons. You'll probably see them pop because I, when I re-downloaded and installed this, I haven't played it since then. Uh, when I installed it to my PS5 just now, so it has it's waiting to install those add-ons. It only does that when you first launch the game. But anyway, um, but when they did that, when they released the PS5 version, they also gave us new paid DLC, which was Episode Intermission. The DLC is called FF7 Remake Integrate. The story portion of that DLC is called Intermission or Intermission. Something like that. Um, I didn't get to play it when it released, but I already watched somebody play it. And the reason I didn't get to play it was because I didn't have a PS5 at the time. I didn't have the foresight to buy one but right before it came out because I didn't realize how much demand there would be for it. Uh, and yeah, it came out during the year where no one could find one at all unless you, like, tried to buy one from a scalper. And even the year after that, it was still kind of like that. <laughs> it's like 2021 and 2022, it was really hard to get a PS5. As, and I didn't want it spoiled. So I was like, fuck it, I'll just watch somebody else play it. So I already know what happens. Um, but this, when I finish FF7 Remake, I'll still play it anyway, and it'll be my first time actually playing it, but I'll already know what happens. So I'm just being transparent about that. But it will technically be my first playthrough of that DLC. And so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, not much else to say. Let's get into it. <laughs> I love how this artwork just stays true to the uh intermission there it is stays true to the box art of the original update added to downloads oh huh. wonder why i got an update list recently um that that you know what we just saw i like that that stays true to the original box art of the game from the, the ps1 version of the game it was really cool cloud looking up at the shinner building with his buster sword on the back Additional content has been downloaded. Select system followed by DLC via the main menu to acquire. Oh yeah, so I didn't notice when they did this. Probably because I didn't have a PS5. Um, but the year that they released Intermission, they also added this new free DLC. This tiny add-on that was free. That gives you... I forgot the name of it. We'll see when I start the game. It'll be in my inventory. Because it's free, so I just went and got it. I just happened to check the, the add-ons for this game and I saw something I didn't have and I was like, what's this? It's, I forget what it's called, but it's an item that grants auto-revive. So you, it, I don't know if it works more than once in the same battle. I doubt it. That would make it way too overpowered, but who knows? Um, since it was released like well after the game came out, maybe they don't care about that, right? It's, it's, maybe it's to help people be able to beat the super bosses and do the other DLC, DLC content that is also meant to be a super boss um before rebirth came out i don't know either way um i got it so i'm gonna try that out too we'll see what that it had like we'll just wait till we see it before i comment on it i could be misremembering what the way it looked like the way it looked the name was i think was a little bit more important though but we'll see so select system followed by dlc yada yada intermission items cannot be claimed in the main story and vice versa cool Oh, this item I just talked about is for both. It's for both intermission and the main game, so that won't be a problem. It looks so crisp and clean. So, okay, that was the other thing I wanted to touch on. I keep feeling like there's something I haven't said I wanted to say. This is going to be my first time playing this on PS5. The last time I played this was PS4. And... 
here's the other one other thing I wanted to say. My very first playthrough of this game is on my VODs channel. I do not recommend you watch it the whole way through. If you want to see my reaction to a specific scene, just just skip to that part. <laughs> it's up in multiple parts. It's not too hard to look for around, you know, if you know the story, it's not too hard to look for a part you want to see that you want to see my reaction to. Just, just skip to that and just see my reaction to it and then move on because if you actually, you will not be able to like it. It's, it would be a challenge to actually try to sit there and watch the whole thing, and I'll tell you why. I was using a Blue Yeti mic. No idea what the hell the difference between a dynamic and a condenser microphone was back then. I had no idea how any audio settings worked on Streamlabs OBS. And basically, you could hear the audio from my TV in my microphone the entire playthrough. And... I found the noise suppressor program so it would filter out anything that wasn't a voice. It was to, in hopes that it would just filter out everything except my voice, but it didn't do that. It filtered out everything except voices. So you will hear an echo for all the dialogue in the game. Every time the characters talked, any and all characters, you would hear them... Hey, hey, what's up, what's up? Like, it's just, every, you, every word you will hear it twice. It is unwatchable. It is completely unlistenable to and unwatchable, and I did not know at all that that was happening until I finished the entire game. I had no fucking idea. I didn't check my VODs back then as diligently as I do now. <laughs> so, so yeah, I do not recommend anybody watch my first playthrough of this. If you just want to see a reaction, my reaction to a certain part of the game, just skip to that part of the game, but do not sit through it because you will, you will want to, like, I don't know. You're, you're just gonna hate it. Like, trust me, you're just gonna be like, oh my god, it'll drive you fucking insane. Alright, let's start the game already. FF7 Remake. The orgasm. The big nut from the music. Honestly, it sounds amazing. <sighs> so yeah, I downloaded this on PS5 and launched it once, which is why I have the two minute playtime on the, the bottom right before I started the game earlier. Um, to download the save data from PS4. But you, it was it was a janky process where you had I had to reinstall it onto this the PS4 version onto this PS5. Or, or I could have just downloaded it um, and installed it to my PS4, but it was just easier to do it on the same console. Um, and then... There was an update for it that let you, like, set your save data to be transferred to a PS5. So I had to go in-game to do that. Then, download and install the PS5 version, and go here to download save data. Which allowed me to... See, there it is. It's still sitting there. From this menu, you can finish transferring your Final Fantasy VII Remake save data from PlayStation 4 to the PS5 console. My 100% data that has, well, basically everything. I, I platinum the game. I got the platinum trophy. Um, oh, I'm glad I'm reading this again. Your settings will not transfer over. I'll have to re- well, I'm pretty sure I didn't change my configuration too much, and I haven't played this in four years, so it doesn't really matter. Additionally, while your trophies will transfer over, you may receive multiple obtainment notifications in quick succession. Yeah, that happened. Um, <laughs> 139 hours, 42 minutes and 43 seconds. Holy shit. Yeah, that's how long it took me to 100% the game. Beating it on hard mode, doing everything. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that did happen. I, um... If you do this, do you get the chance to... No. You don't. I was like, I don't, I was like, how do you start New Game Plus again? Not here. But now I can show that I did 100% the game, though. Play log. There it is. Everything's maxed out. Except... Wait, why is the Shinra Combat Simulation Battle... Oh! The 15th one is the one they added. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See how enemy intel, enemies assessed? Yeah, it's that's the DLC. That's the intermission DLC. They added a new super boss. Which I obviously haven't fought yet. So that's why that's not complete. But you guys saw outside before I started the, the goddamn game. I have the, the platinum trophy, so. What is this? There it is. A seraphic earrings. A pair of wing shaped earrings that can reinvigorate one's mind and body. Automatically revives the wearer from incapacitation. See, the name and the, the symbolism of it, the way it looks, I feel is like somewhat important. 
maybe it relates to something important in the story later, like in Rebirth. Not in this game, probably. Maybe not. Could mean nothing. Could just be a very pretty uh, set of earrings. Intermission items cannot be claimed in the main story and vice versa. Yeah. Oh. Well, now I can save again. Why not? Mm, wait. What are, oh, system. So do you just do chapter selection or do you hit new game? Let's see. We'll find out. New game. No, you have to do chapter select to do new game plus then. Okay. Because this will just... Camera controls, inverted y-axis. Easy classic. Yeah, you have to do that. Okay. Well, I'm not going to watch this twice. Um... Okay, so load. No, not load. Oh yeah, you have to do that. Load this shit. And then, it's kind of janky. I wish you could start New Game Plus from the main menu. You have to do it from here. And then, chapter selection. But you can tell I haven't played this game in four years. <laughs> the destruction of Mako Reactor 1. Here's the intro. Cloud, a mercenary, is hired by a group named Avalanche to help them blow up Mako Reactor 1. Their goal is to stop the Shinra Electric Power Company from destroying the planet. And then here you choose, um... The only way to play hard is through New Game Plus. You're not allowed to play it on your first playthrough. Okay, so I mentioned this at the end of Crisis Core. My first playthrough back then was Easy Classic. There was only Easy Classic, Easy, Normal, and Hard. And Hard only after you beat the game once. With the PS5 version, they added Normal Classic, which a lot of people wished had been there since they, the, the original release of the game. They added it from popular demand, because a lot of people were like, well, I want the classic combat system but on normal and not easy. I think they only made it for easy because of the fact that it objectively makes the game easier because you don't have to worry about blocking or dodging attacks anymore. The character will control themselves. All you have to worry about is giving them commands with the ATB system, um, but they will auto battle and block and dodge things on their own. So it makes it feel more like the classic Final Fantasy VII version, but that makes the game easier. Hence, there's no why there's still no classic for hard because then it would just make it well, easier. And they want hard to be actually hard. So on hard, you actually have to do everything yourself at that point. You have to block, dodge, run and move during battle. But if you play classic, your character will do all their movement on their own. Um, yada yada yada. So. Well, it doesn't say the update's mandatory, so I'll, I'll just install that next time. But. Yeah. So I'm gonna play... I enjoyed classic. And when I redid off-stream the game on hard, I, you know, I face-rolled it by giving everybody revive and restore materia, so... Because you're not allowed to use items on hard. So then I, it was pretty fucking easy just doing that. Especially since I'd already played the game on easy and normal. So I was able to just, you know... I was already super overpowered by the time I first played hard mode. It wasn't that bad. Um, but yeah, I, I prefer the classic. But... Because I'm overpowered, Easy Classic will just make things way too anticlimactic and easy. So we're going to do Normal Classic because I want to try it out. I want to actually see what it's like with the normal difficulty, but still the classic controls. So I want to I want to try that. That's what I said at the end of Crisis Core. So this is what we're doing. Normal Classic. Please still get to see the full intro. I'll be watching the audio to make sure the audio levels are balanced. Tsunomura, there he is. It's the Kingdom Hearts guy. And of course the original character designer for this game as well. Get every FF7 fan. 
Kazushige Nojima, the story and scenario. He, he also did, I saw the credits, he also did the scenario for Crisis Core, so it explains the consistency. The follow up. Oh boy, Matsu. What? What? Oops. The what's were an accident. I missed. It's meant to praise Nobu. Dylan. The Teruki Endo, the battle Son designer or bitch. director. I gotta give a shout out to that guy because I fucking love the battle system in this game. The combat system is incredible. Dude, all these guys deserve a standing ovation. Like, seriously. This game is a masterpiece. I remember absolutely just loving it my first playthrough four years ago. Near the beginning of COVID lockdown, too. But, uh... It was, this was a nice respite from that. Right after Resident Evil 3 Remake, too. This game's awesome. startled her. That didn't happen in the original game. Asshole. I saw that coming too. I was like, is he gonna... I forgot this happened in the intro. I think they nerfed Aerith a little bit from the end of Crisis Core if you... Pay attention. <laughs> she she got a minor reduction, yeah. <laughs> she went from to Yeah. That last scene in Crisis Core threw me off so much. I was like getting emotional over Zack dying basically, but when it switched to her and the camera pan to that angle, oh my god, dude, I was like, whoa! She became very voluptuous. For sure, when I watched the VOD, be sure it wasn't too loud or something. Buster Sword just because I was planning on doing a New Game Plus run with it on to make it like, oh, you know, this is like when you start a new game, that's the weapon you start with. It legit, when you fully upgrade all the weapons, the Buster Sword is the most balanced one. Not the most powerful one, the most balanced one. Meaning balance between offense, defense, attack, and magic. Which I love. I was like, that's perfect. That, to me, for my playstyle, is optimal. So that's why I have it on. That's the only reason I have it on. It's not because I was like already planning ahead for this. <laughs> um, yeah. Chapter 1, the destruction of Mako Reactor 1. It's like we're playing Crisis Core all over again. They look just like this. I gotta relearn the controls. Oh! 
Who goes there? You're up. You're coming with us. Just nice and easy. Don't think so. Oh yeah, I have that accessory. So this is not DLC. There's an accessory that legit lets you just spam limit breaks, just like the quality of life that they added for the original game's uh, PS4 port. Ascension and refocus. I he had... Oh yeah, I think everyone gets this, right? But you partition your ATP gauge into three segments, allowing for faster charge accumulation. Let's do that. Gonna enjoy this. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, R2 is still to sprint, just like in Crisis Core. He runs a little different from Zack, but not too much. Who in the hell? Hands where I can see him! Have fun. Okay, thanks. Freeze! Move and we shoot! Go ahead. That wasn't... Oh, well, let me see. My go-to is usually triple slash. I want to see if I have this on a shortcut. Oh, yes. Is that it? Didn't know they had dialogue, my bad. No more conflict resolved. Which is good, it saves time. I'll miss that a little bit, but... Drop the weapon! I like going in and out of battles seamlessly. You got this. Yeah, what he said! It does sound a little louder than Crisis Core. I might have to... And the volume bar does go a little You're higher. You're coming with us! You can't get surrounded. I want to do this. So nope. Not bad. Something else here. Yeah, see, I like how they, they turn back into spirit energy and return to the live stream. I got used to pushing X for everything. Okay. I gotta get used to everything again. Alright, oh, you can break things in the environment, right? Yeah. Is there a map? That's what I'm wondering right now, like... I don't see a button telling me to, how to open a map. I don't think so. Maybe later. There we go, like that. Well, it's, it's a good thing I'm getting warmed up now and not during re Rebirth. I assume the controls will be pretty much the same, so... At least when I start Rebirth, I won't be fumbling around like this, wondering how to play the fucking game. <laughs> Just like... So what's Soldier Boy's deal? Is he one of us now? He's got balls, this, uh, uh, what was his name again? Cloud. Cloud Strife. Right. And he isn't a soldier anymore. Still, he's a professional, unlike the rest of us. I'm glad to have him. <laughs> this is a one-time gig. When it's done, we're done. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. You heard Wedge's feelings, Cloud. What the we're fuck, man? Real joy to look at, too. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> Looks are what people notice first. This is true. On the same page as people. I'd say you're not even reading the same book. Enough. We're done here. Or even the same. Give it a rest. This this system I like more than just talking to all the NPCs, basically. Like how it used to be where you, you go and talk to NPCs if you want to see what they have to say. I like that you instead just listen into their conversation or something when they're talking to someone else. I actually prefer that more. Okay, so I assume if I talk to you, nothing will happen. I have to talk to Barrett, right? Okay. You'll keep us safe, right, Cloud? <laughs> so I hired to be a bodyguard or help you guys blow this place oh, up? They've almost got the door. So at the end of Crisis Core, they said something about four years. I don't know if they were insinuating that the reason Cloud's armor looks different from... I mean, we saw this in the post credit scene for Crisis Core. He's wearing this, not exactly the armor that Zack gave him. 
he's, he's missing one of the shoulder pads. The other one now has like three bolts on it, and he's got this like gauntlet on this arm now. That wasn't part of the original outfit that Zack gave him. So I'm, I'm not sure if they're implying that after Zack died, one year passed, where Cloud was just kind of wandering around and making ends meet as a mercenary, as he sort of, you know, mentions now. I'm not really sure, but it could be, because that would explain why his outfit's a little different than how Zack left him. Um, so even though Cloud arrived at Midgar right after Zack died, he probably didn't meet up with, you know, Tifa and Avalanche until a year later. He just kind of wandered around on his own. Which, that's believable, because Midgar's fucking huge. Like, it's a gigantic fucking city, so... But I don't know. I'm not exactly sure about the timeline of events. Come on, nobody do something this crazy just for money? They may you not think you're a people. true believer, but you know what I think? Not interested. Huh? <laughs> you suck! <laughs> Got him. Which? Uh, <sighs> you better be worth the money, Merc. Every last gill. He said it! He said the thing! <laughs> Again, shout out to the Echo S mod people for capturing that dialogue very fucking well in that mod for the original game. Like, the voice actor for Barrett in that game, he imitates that so well. You better be worth the money, Merc. Every last you. He says it so fucking well, it's awesome. Get him, boy! I'll end this. L1 is command shortcuts, okay. Interesting. Triple slash. Infinity's end. What is that? Oh my god, I didn't think I was gonna hit him. Nothing to it. That must be some endgame shit. I didn't even see anything. Alright, alright. Oh, that's the elevator. Okay, is there anything else here? I'm trying to get myself used to treasure hunting because not just rushing through things, you know. Oh, but they can respawn. Punisher mode. Yeah, this one works a lot better than. Oops, it stays. Okay. See, this is a stance that um. Zack was going to if you push square next at the same Not time bad. in battle, but it works differently. Here, it's literally, it gives you like a counter, as it, you saw with the dog. A little different. But some of the attack animations are pretty much the same as when Zack would do that. I don't know if, um, that sort of, what was it called? The battle stance in Crisis Core? I don't know if that was available in the original game, or if that was just something for the, the remaster that they added. To give like some cohesiveness with Cloud, the way Cloud fights in this game. Like, you, so you could be like, "Oh, Cloud learned it from Zack," because this obviously, way. yeah, that is a direct story implication. Huh. Not so fast. We've got company. They're letting Cloud do all the work because I mean they hired him for a reason. Right? They're gonna put him to work. <laughs> you can't complain. I'll end. Was never in doubt. Yeah, I remember spamming triple slash a lot for New Game Plus runs to kill large groups of mobs really quickly. I did put it on normal classic, right? I need to double check that. Yes. Oh yeah, you can, except for hard mode, you can change it in mid-game whenever you want. I forgot about that. Okay. I haven't felt the need to change controls yet, so I'm not gonna bother. Okay, 
Yeah, just because I can <laughs> spam limit breaks with that accessory I have on doesn't mean I'm going to because it'll get old. I'll do it when I need to or when I feel it'll be more cinematic and, you know, epic. I'll hold it. Dude, this view. Jesus. I love looking at the environments, but at the same time, I, I hold myself back from doing it too much because it does fuck up the pacing. I'll secure our escape route, okay? You go on and catch up with the others. Like, a, right now, like, you can tell from the music and everything happening, it's just supposed to be, like, a fast-paced section. And but I don't like to, like, dilly-dally too much. Oh, look, see, they, give, they let us appreciate the environment. Without having to slow down too much. That's Soldiers may attack on command, but I hear they make good guard dogs, too. Bet you've seen a few reactors. So how do we get to the bridge above Mako storage? <sighs> Ain't holding out on me, are you? You bastard! Damn scared to bite the hand that fed him? You son of a- Or is he a loyal little doggy? <sighs> Have it your way, mutt. We can do this with you, or we can do this without you. Different reactor, different layout. Depends when it was built. Never seen one like this, but I'll manage. Yeah, getting those headaches from his false memories, trying to trying to cope with what Barrett's saying to him. Because his his brain is like, I only saw the inside of one fucking reactor. You know, the Nibelheim one. And that's like dissonant. It's like some cognitive dissonance with the fact that he's supposed to be a soldier, first class, which means he should have seen more. But that's why he, his brain's just like, something right. Like, wait, I, how is it I only know? Hmm. <laughs> it's just like, his brain's a fucking mess. Fucking Mako poisoning, man. I'm watching you. And Genova cells. In three, two. Damn, I'm good. Oh shit, right, I should have talked to Jesse first. God damn it. Who's there? Door! Biggs is the one who opens the first door. Oh, wait! Fuck! It's over! That's my line. <laughs> now that's skin He's texture. Alone. We can take it! Make it right! I know FF14's graphics upgrade this summer for Dawn Trail isn't gonna make the characters look like this, not even close. But there is a semblance of those skin textures a little bit, just a little bit. The, like the, the, the details on the skin, I did see some of that in some of the previews they've given us at FanFest and all that for FF14. I got this place covered. Okay. Alright. Simmer down, hotshot. It's a good thing I know someone who can get us the passcodes. <sighs> Pity no one else at command will talk to us, but what can you do? Huh. Then we're good. Careful in there. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? I went in immediately and he says, what are you waiting for? Tough the phoenix down. You gonna stay here and guard this door? Okay. Security is only gonna get tighter, so be ready. We can't afford any more mistakes. You got it, buddy. Looks like the elevator's on another floor. Mind pushing that button? Sure. I swear there's an identical button right in front of you, but okay. So, you know Tifa, right? It's not really my business, but are you guys close? Yeah, this is definitely a slightly different layout and much better graphics than Crisis Core for Nippelheim. <laughs> Loud! Assuming it's gonna look like this in Are Rebirth. Are you ignoring me? <laughs> you Her face. Are you ignoring me? Tifa and I. <sighs> Asshole. Very 
Garrett is so hostile, man. <laughs> I love the dynamic between him and Cloud. Especially at the beginning of the game. Same in the original, you know. Really fucking good. These sewer rats appear to call themselves Avalanche, sir. We are currently investigating whether they belong to the same group that made the attempt on your life. Rest assured, our inquiries will not take much longer. <laughs> this pump's sole purpose is to drain the planet dry. While you sleep, while you eat, while you shit, it's here <laughs> sucking up, Marco! It doesn't rest, and it doesn't care! You do realize what Marco is, don't you? Marco right. is the lifeblood of our world. The planet bleeds green like you and me bleed red. The hell you think's gonna happen when it's all gone, huh? Answer me! You gonna stand there and pretend you can't hear the planet crying out in pain? I know you can! You really hear that? <laughs> Damn straight I do! Dude, get out. shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'd worry less about the planet and more about the next five seconds. Save the screaming for later. You. It's gonna ignore that. Our lives are on the line now. Listening, Merc. One false move. And that happens. Well, so much for having Cloud do all the fighting. There are some places a sword just can't reach. True. <laughs> just bear with him for me, would you? <sighs> all for you, babe. <laughs> Should have asked for more money. <laughs> <laughs> have tutorials by the way kind of like the ones we saw in crisis core but because it knows you're playing on new game plus like you're, you use chapter select or whatever it's you know it skips them but there are tutorials here like when it switched to uh barrett there it would have stopped the game and been like here's you know how to use barrett's features or whatever so you can fight from afar dude our hp is Look enormous what we have here a laser security system great those things will hurt more than your pride if you're careless They'll cut you down to size and then some. But I'm guessing you've done this kind of thing before. Yeah, figure out the timing of the lasers. Then, make a move when they cycle off. Exactly. I'll go first. Nothing like a little danger to get the blood pumping. Hey! Just keep those baby blues of yours on me! <laughs> if you saw in Crisis Core, his eyes are blue, so they really didn't change that much with the Mako infusion that Hojo did to him. They just got like a sort of greenish blue. There's a wind up time on running. <laughs> so I just seen all the boxes just have no weight to them and just go flying when you barely touch them. Um, it's kind of funny. Treasure chest. Isn't there one that goes like three times and then it turns off? Is it this one or are there more downstairs? You're doing good, soldier. There is a wind up to running, so I gotta. Yeah, here we go. 
apparently here. This is the one I was thinking of, yeah. Flashes three times and then you go. Yeah, you get plenty of time as long as you're... Okay, let's see. One, two, three. There you go. three also one two three okay no four. Oh, this one's four okay two three four played this game to get the platinum or just like replay chapters flash. sometimes now, i remember just being able to run right through without giving a shit after one of my playthroughs way back then <laughs> look and not getting hit either just knowing already how to do it sweepers for nothing they can wipe out a whole squad in seconds not if you wipe the floor with them first oh, i've got one liners Deactive, ah, we can too. take this hunk of junk. That Hell hunk yeah. of junk is a heavy weapons platform. If we rush in, we die. Is that right? We need to hit it with magic. That should give us an opening. What am I? 20 something? First. Huh? Soldier, first class. Doesn't go into the 20s. What the hell are you talking about? I mean, your age, not your goddamn rank. You oh. bastard! Though for all I know, a soldier's rank could be the same as his age. Mm-hmm. Guess that make you a one-year-old, huh? Live and learn! You son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> some of the banter. <laughs> that is interesting how he asked him his age like that and Cloud thought he was asking for his rank. I just... What I found funny is just the fact that he even asked him his age. Not sure why he cared. But yes, Cloud is 21. Keep is 20. Aerith is 22. We got Barrett's. Yeah, I forget his, what his age is. That's our target, the reactor core. Gotta set the bomb at the bottom. Let's get down there. What was the faster way? There. Oh, you have to hold it. Okay. I can practically Hurry it up. Also, I forgot to comment earlier because I didn't want to interfere with the dialogue. But damn, Cloud's hair looks fucking nice. Scared, huh? More like excited. I've been dreaming about this for years. This game does look far better than I remember it. This is a huge upgrade from PS4. Even though it's been four years, I can still notice the difference. I'm just like, dude, his hair and his skin did not look that good back then. Heads up, boys. The end is in I leave the rest in your capable hands. Good luck. I really wish there was a map. You have to, like... Not that way. Down the ladder, dummy. Oh, right. This game puts you on rails for a lot of segments. I forgot about that. Oh, you're choosing me over the reactor? That's sweet, but I'll wait my turn. Go blow her mind. <laughs> sweet, sweet, Jesse. Run while you can. That's a real scare. Seems like, yeah, they're a little real scared. Where? 
this is still oh shit oh. i'd look up to see how to switch characters but wasn't necessary you think if we fell in we sink right down to the bottom to the planet's core no the pump would suck us back up <laughs> how comforting <laughs> that's true oh there we go that's a much better view isn't there a way to go into first person I guess not. Must be confusing with 14. Ain't got nothing on me. stop to appreciate the environments but I also don't want to drag my feet through this place here too much all right let's see if little stamp really can bite the hand that feeds hmm. go on do the honors prove to me you're the man Tifa says you are that you're one of us never said I was I'm just here for the paycheck. Then do the damn job! You bastard! You son of a... <laughs> oh, please with himself after pulling him. <laughs> it's like, this guy, dude. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. What's wrong? Uh, mm. hmm? I'm fine. What about the timer? You'll call, Merc. 20 minutes or 30 minutes? <laughs> Where's the 10 minute option? The default from the original game, right? No, but, uh, but then fucking Echo S made it 5 minutes. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> the 30 minutes... I think Barrett makes a comment like, damn, like, that's a long time. Like, you like to take your time, don't you? Or something. If you make 20, he's like, oh, you're cocky, aren't you? I think. Let me see. Pretty cocky, ain't you? <laughs> Bruh. A test uh -huh. of your reflexes. You double crossing. Son of a... <laughs> Heads up. <laughs> what in the hell? Surprise, motherfucker. Hey, how the hell do we find this thing? It's got reinforced armor plating, but the internals can be overloaded. Lightning magic. <laughs> no other option, huh? I love how Bear was just ready to fucking shoot the shit out of Cloud. He was just like, he was so ready just like to kill him because he thought he was betraying him. He's like, you yeah, dumb assassin. A barrier? <laughs> just... Never seen this defense system before. Not you were the expert. That's so what's true. your brilliant plan, genius? Bring it. Do I even have magic? Focus and find a way. Nope. Oops. Oh wait, doesn't it have a weak point? Bounce right off. Nice shot, dumbass! Hold on. Frontal assault's no good. I was trying to remember, I was like, wait a minute. Back here, yeah. There! Attack it from the rear! I sold you, boy! Show me what you got! I'm just letting auto attack do the work, because we're so overpowered. If I do anything else, it'll just, he'll just die instantly. They used triple slash because we had to remove the shield, but... R3 to lock on. Okay. Watch the tail! You don't want to be hit by that laser! Huh? So 
What do we do? Don't get hit. Take cover behind that debris. At least you have time. Oh, holy shit. Now, go. Concentrated burst of energy. Maximum. Gotta gear. memorize the attack patterns. Consume all ATB charges to fire a long stream of bullets. That's the one I like. Go for it. We gotta take it out quick or we're screwed. <laughs> oh, I am way ahead of you, Mer. Let's do Ascension. Gotta give it my all. Gotta cover our attacks just right. Hold out until you spot an opening. That's it. Now that's how you finish off the boss right there. That's one hell of a nut. Huh. You hear that? Damn thing showed you how it's done. Come on, we've got to move. Where should we be covering our way out? Treasure them. That guard scorpion did have some new attacks from when Zack fought one. Okay, there we go. Give me a break. No more fighting me. Is that it? Did Rebirth only come out for PS5 or also PS4? I'll have to look that up. Fuck! Has a heart that wasn't in his paid contract description. Way. He did it anyway. This should lead us straight to Barrett, probably. It wasn't in his contract to have to save anyone, but he did it. I think I see an sleep if I miss some treasure chests for this game I mean new game plus I'm fine but I will still go out of my way to try and find We're them running out of time. shut up and climb you're not helping sorry just it keeps me focused I'll freak out if I don't talk have it your I'm, way yeah I know some people like that I think I do that sometimes too I like how she's just transparent because I'm like right on her ass literally Barrett! 
I've got you covered. Find us a way out of here. But then... Don't worry, I'll be fine. I've got Soldier Boy with me. <laughs> Soldier Boy. Looks like Lucas. Soldier Boy. <laughs> They're here! Take them down! We don't have time for this shit! It's not the thing! Cool it. Five seconds is all we need. Let's go. The others are waiting. I think that was faster than five seconds, yeah? I thought we were gonna have to hit the button. I was like, the door's not opening. Yeah, we came through here already. Means I've already checked this place. Yep. No shit. No shit. TV in action. Plus the mystic. Again, their banter is amazing. I, I forgot to say this earlier when he said um when barrett said when you shit when he was ranting about the yeah. muscle reactors in the elevator he said when you sleep when you shit i that part just made me laugh so much because for some reason it just got me that like they hardly ever reference in anything in any kind of like media video games movies tv they almost always never reference they almost always never reference the fact that we have to use the bathroom. <laughs> so it's just kind of like, it was oddly refreshing in a hilarious way to hear him say that the Mako reactor is destroying the planet all the time, always, 24-7, when you're shitting, when you're sleeping, you know? So yeah, when he said, when you shit, I was... <laughs> that was, um, that got me pretty good. You got him, Barrett. Wait, did you get him? Oh, he's already busy doing something. Oh, he ran out of ATV. All done. I forgot how much more bolder the language is in this game, and I actually love it for that. I love that they just went totally unhinged with it. No shit! Kiss my ass! <laughs> It spices up the dialogue for me. This is what we didn't see in the original game. It was implied, but it's way too subtle for anybody to know that this is, uh... care whether he lives or dies he's like the life i chose as a mercenary it is what it is if i don't make it i don't make it dude the hair looks i think it looks actually better than leon's hair in resident Evil 4 remake they did a really good job with it go 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 can you walk if I couldn't, believe me, you'd be the first to know. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> we all know what she meant by that. Okay, that was pretty cool. All right, come on. Ah, 
massive ass explosion. Looks like we made it. And with nothing but a few scratches to show. Faithful <laughs> encounters. Think you might have overdone it? I followed the instructions to the letter. Maybe it triggered a reaction with the Mako? Well, let's hope the city's still in one piece. But the planet's what matters, right? I mean, this must have helped some. After all that, it had better have. Anyway, let's get going. We in Sector 8? That'd be just down there. All right, then. Lead the way. You got it. <laughs> so chapter 2 has just begun. Watch out for live wires. They're everywhere. What chapter is this? What was it called? Fateful Encounters. Ah, yes. Um, I gotta use the restroom real quick. But it's also been an hour, so I might as well just take a break. Um, perfect. One hour for one for the first chapter. They're not all that short, of course. I'm not gonna say one hour per chapter. No, we're not gonna finish that quick. We are gonna finish pretty quick on New Game Plus, but not that fast. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll be back in about... I'll leave it paused because I think they keep moving and then we'll just be left sitting here and all that. Um, or I don't know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll just unpause it. Fuck it. But yeah, I'll be back in about five, ten minutes. So... Okay, make sure that's working. That up, and there we go. Alright, BRB. Bruh. Ugh. The air in here reeks. Can't wait to get out in the open. Man, what is that? I've never smelled anything so foul. <laughs> oh, it's me. Gotta do something about that. And soon. Bruh. <laughs> That's right, we're back. Um, oh, let me turn that on. Check it. Okay. Whew. Oh yeah, so I... I did this. A test. Anyway. Um, you guys didn't hear because I just realized I forgot to unmute the speakers or whatever. But whatever. Um... I was just memeing like I always do. Uh, is this alright? Yeah, okay. Everything checks out. Alright, let's continue. This is, uh, chapter two now. Off this what the hell is that? 4.8% dropped frames. When did that start climbing? Okay, it's going back down now. Okay, I think I know what caused it. It was something I was doing during the break. Um, watching a YouTube video and it probably slowed it down. Well, good thing, you know. Once the YouTube video stopped, that stopped happening. I've been forgetting to look at my TV once in a while just to see it because it looks far better um, than on the monitor. For me, it's like for you guys that, you know, if you're watching it on the TV, you'll see what I'm seeing on my TV. I just mean me playing with the projector on my monitor. It's like not the same. The color uh, contrast and everything, the lighting doesn't quite. It's more faded, sort of washed out on monitor. But I do it so that I don't have to have... I don't have to be looking this way the whole fucking time. The webcam's over here, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm glad that uh, Streamlabs OBS has a projector mode for this. So I can just play on my monitor. I felt that one in my guts. They just keep on coming. We need to get out of this place. Was it the Mako density? The His guts, he said. explosive? The blasting agent? Hey, you can figure that out later. <sighs> I'm running on empty here. You can refuel at the base. <laughs> Next time I'll have to bring a little pick-me-up. A sandwich or something? You springs about where? How much farther and do we have to go? Not far. All I think about is Angeal's words when I see the Buster Sword now. Since it originally belonged to him. That's about as good a place as any. 
Stand back then. I'll set the bomb. Can't wait to see you, Marlene. Can't wait to take a hot shower. That muscle tone, though. I was fucking ripped. She's good to go. Fire in the hole! You sure told those doors. Let that be a Let's lesson to anything that gets in my way. Yeah, but we don't get to see Wedge running around with his ass on fire. My ass is on fire! Attention all citizens. Attention all citizens. This is an alert from the Shinra Emergency Operations Center. Unidentified intruders have detonated a bomb inside Mako Reactor 1. Multiple oh, explosions have been confirmed, as well as ongoing fire. In response, a disaster warning has been issued in sectors 1 and 8. Structures in the area are at high risk of collapse, rendering the entire sector hazardous. Therefore, all residents of no, no way. She's like, dude, the bomb was this not supposed to do all this. Us, could it? But what if it was? What's done is done. Uh. Merck's right. It ain't pretty, but we can't stop now. This was just the first reactor, and the planet won't be safe till we get the rest. Yeah, we always knew this was gonna get messy. And this is only the beginning. Y'all gotta look at the bigger picture here. Nothing worth fighting for was ever won without sacrifice. Though you may not be crying out, I know you're in pain, just like the planet. But it's okay, cause I'm here for you, to help take the load off your shoulders. Your fears, your worries, your concerns, and yes, your fees. Whatever your problem, I got you. Uh -huh. hmm. So, what's our next move, boss? That's easy enough. We get our asses home! Hmm. Hmm. Nothing hard was ever won without sacrifice. Yeah, true. But who are you to dictate who or what gets to, sac to be sacrificed for your cause? It's not like we lost our lives in, in this. We killed a bunch of innocent people. There's gotta be a better way to save the planet than this. We'll split up and shoot for the last train home. Regroup in the freight car. Got it? Later then! I mean, luckily though, you know, for us, we know it wasn't hey. us that did all this. I'd like my money now. You can have it once we're back at base. It wasn't us that did this. Um, Chinra did it, of course, but, you know, obviously they don't know what... Shinran Heidegger did. But the fact that Bear didn't care is like, yikes, you know? Like, even if this was us, he was re he's ready to just accept it regardless. Even if we were the ones who caused this, all, all this destruction, he's like, well, that's just how it's gonna be. Get over it. That's a big yikes, dog. Need to tell you what this is, right? Of course not. It's healing materia. You can have it for saving my life. Just doing my job. Aww. Nothing more. Yeah, yeah. Fact is, I'm lucky you were there. <laughs> That's sweet of you, Jesse. Thank you. Survival can be a matter of luck or skill. Usually both. And you can't rely on luck. Words to live by. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, thanks. You do know how to use it, right? You do know what I was, right? <laughs> you bastard! Okay, 
I was only trying to help. Oh, before Skips I forget, the tutorial. here's a little something extra for being so brave. That really was the ride of a lifetime. Well, see you on the train. A bottle of other and two high potions. What she's referring to there is the fact that we chose 20 minutes instead of 30, I think. Okay, now that we have a break in the action, let me check my material and equipment. What the hell do I have on? I got her Dameron. I have no idea how you actually pronounce that. This you get for defeating the final super boss in the post-game content for the game. Um, not the DLC one. The one that, that came with the original game. I haven't done any of the DLC. And looking at all this just brings back memories. There's the Seraphic Rings. Enter battle with the auto life status effect. I guess I'll just give that to another party member. HP up. MP up. Healing. Revival. Bahamut. First strike, ATB stagger, large ATB boost on staggering foe, part of battle, that's why I can use triple slash right away, got a low key speedrunner, out, out, um, what's it called, uh, loadout, almost, three types of, Jesus, you know, I think I'm set up for doing the, the, the DPS strat for the, the super boss that I saw on YouTube way back then. The easiest way to get through that final, um, like, savage raid kind of thing almost, um, was just to DPS the bosses like, like that. Like, just kill them incredibly quick. Oh, this is what lets me use refocus. I got you. Hey, what is... What is, um... He also has his default weapon on. The default weapon for everybody is basically the most balanced once it's fully upgraded. What I found. HP up, MP up, item master. What is this? This is useless on hard mode. Provoke. I set him up as a tank. Defeat. Okay. Large ATB boost and less damage all. Okay. Enemy skill and HP absorption. Hmm. 40% of damage dealt. Why is this empty? It's hard to know what my past self from four years ago was doing. I don't, I don't know why... The last time I played, I mean... <laughs> so it's like, I don't know why this is empty. And range of linked material. This is an independent, so that won't do anything. Hey, I guess we could just give him refocus. Does he have any of those on? No, I guess if I could give him one of those. One of the independents here. He already has that. Already has skill master, I believe. No, he doesn't. Master, I guess? Oh, here he has that. Oh, here we go. Heal up. Not like I need it. Or EXP. Yeah, actually, those, those are pointless. Um. I don't know. I guess it's just blank because there's really no. <laughs> I don't really need anything. <laughs> I'm good. What sin did you do? Allows an ally to follow the leader's attack command with an attack from a link. Oh. Oh, there we go. Maybe I can give him time. Oh, Tifa has that already. Barrier? <laughs> what a joke. On this difficulty being as max level and everything, I don't need this. 
Okay, I'm just leaving this because I really, yeah, I don't need to put anything there. Maybe that's why it's blank. Because <laughs> I just legit don't need shit there. Um, elemental lightning and time. Magnify time. Allows you to expand the range of spells with the link material. Oh, I see. Turning haste slow and stop into like... Haste to go, slow go, stop. Okay, yeah. Staggering. For an ally when repeating command two times. Luck. Real, yeah, but that actually does. Okay. I guess I could just... Yeah, I'll just give Barret, um... ATB assist or something. Again, not like he needs it, but... Wait, did I miss it? Ward locked up, but again, not like he needs it. Nope, don't have a spare. Oh, there it is. Oh, we only have one. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Probably won't make a difference anyway, but my OCD wants me to put something there. What does she have? Fat Chocobo. Eris. She has Leviathan. Okay. Nice. And P up. Fresh. Skill master, Isaac up. That makes sense for her, yeah. Okay, cool. That's it, that's all the party members you get in the game, so. I think I'll give. I think I'll give Tifa the. Um... What does that do? What does she have? Yeah, I'll give her the. Um... Terrific earrings. I definitely gotta take that off. Yeah, I, I, that must be because I don't know what the fuck I was doing. Why does she have Berserk on? Auto Berserk, like what? I'll give her the Muckle Crystal for now. There. Alright, that'll probably be my loadout for everybody for the entire game. I'm just getting it out of the way now. I wanted to see what the hell exactly I was working with. I was like, what exactly is my loadout on Materia, man? I, again, I kind of wish there was a map, like in Crisis Core. It kind of sucks that there isn't, unless... There it is! Okay. I was like, there has to be one. There's fu no fucking way there isn't. It puts your steps, too, so you know wh where you came from. Those little dots right there. Okay, can you zoom in? Oh, there we go. It's up and down. Boom! Means level, current position... Toggle objectives. Oh, it takes you to a room. Yeah. Okay, this will take me a minute to get used to, but we'll get there, we'll get there. Midgar City map. Upper Sector 8. Cool that they let you see this. Alright. See, this is the problem with doing acts of terrorism. You just put more people against you, rather than for your cause. These people are supporting Shinra even more now. We're all gonna die! <laughs> we need to get to a shelter fast! Head to the station. 
Why bother? Because we're not dead yet. What are the audio settings? Everything's maxed out, right? I forgot about this, yeah. Graphics and performance. Oh my god, look at that. The frame the frame rate immediately drops when you put it on graphics. It was the same on PS4. I always had it on performance instead. I prefer higher frame rate. The graphics are still amazing even like that. I don't remember if I ever messed with any of this. Maximum distance. Off-screen targets. Camera changes angle to match sloping terrain. Camera pulls back to show a wider area and the character's moving. The responsiveness of the camera. I think this is actually like adjusting the dead zone basically for the... Or maybe the speed of the, at which it moves. Just worded in a weird way. Well, this saved. Said my settings, my settings wouldn't carry over, but camera view ally commands. Changes the camera focuses on when issuing commands to allies. Uh, switch camera to non-active party members when executing ally commands, or keep the camera focused on active character. When you, oh no, I prefer this. Lock on with R R three basically. Yeah, that's just like Crisis Core. Lock on switching direction input. Switch set target switching method. Switch targets with the right stick to aim in the direction of a new target. Switch targets by using in order. That's tab targeting essentially. During a combo? Yeah, sure, whatever. I don't think that matters too much. Screen shake. Okay, that's pretty much the most of what I wanted to, uh... Oh, right, no, there were some things here. Cursor position out of battle, forget. Oh, yeah, I, I like remember. I do that in the classic game. Remember. Minimap static or dynamic? How's the minimap rotate with the camera? No, I prefer static. If I make it rotate with the camera, just I get lost so easily. Subtitles. Dialogue and speaker name or dialogue only? No, dialogue and speaker. Same with the chat log. The chat log refers to those little chats we see on the left when we overhear conversations from NPCs. Things whether or not the on-screen combat controls guide displays. Oh, on the top left corner. It's funny how in Crisis Core, that was on the top right. That was always behind my webcam. Now it's on the top left. Swap combat buttons. R1 to guard, L1 for shortcut menu. Or... Switch them. Oh, that's fine. Okay, cool. We have all the DLC. I would try to show all the summons, but the summoning is RNG and it, well, it's partially RNG, partially situational. It, we're not going to proc a lot of summons because I'm so overpowered, basically, because the game only kind of does that for you if it sees that you're kind of struggling. And even then, it's a little random if it does it or not. I, flashed before my eyes. I can't summon at will in this game, so it's a little hard to show them all off. We'll just have to look up a video. Anytime now. Where'd they go? Where is he? When's Dad coming back? Anytime now. We'll never catch our train now. Cloud! There up here! Look way. up! Well, I said well look up! I am. I don't see you. Not that way! Right! We'll never catch our train now. There has to be another way. I said look up! Terrible oh, there up she here. is. This could collapse at any moment. If you want up, you'll have to use those stairs. I was on my way to see my grandson. Can you hear me? Where's that stretcher? 
Where are you? No dice. It's a shit show over there, too. Keep pounding them! Get over here! Is there a shelter around? Huh? We need to get back on solid ground. The ground started shaking. And then... What if I can't get home? They better make this right. Who the hell are they? Somebody. They killed Kenny. Those bastards. Who's they? Uh, you know, they. <laughs> My son lives on one of the streets down there. Better come soon. We'll be fine. It's the ground stops moving. Oh, is there a shelter around? If you really want to get to the station, you can always climb those stairs. Try picking your way across the rubble. Thanks, buddy. So what, do we dig our way through? Nah, that's a death wish. Yeah, do not go through that. people were not in a safe spot. Do they say anything if I go back now? Our house! My office! Why did this have to happen to us? Get back! I want to leave this place. The trammers! They better Attention. Send a stretcher. They play this music because it shows you what Shinra's capable of, you know? They don't give a shit about their people. They're willing to sacrifice them. Just to make us look bad, basically. It's, you know, they, we've already established that Jesse's bomb was not supposed to cause this much destruction. Nibelheim fire. Surprise, motherfucker! Surprise, motherfucker! Dude is tall. <laughs> That's one is one tall ass motherfucker, dude. And Cloud's short too, so. He's like Zach's a little taller than Cloud, so. We didn't notice it. He's a little taller than, than Cloud, so he he didn't he, he wasn't be. quite like. But then follow him. You guys can't see the little thing on the top right because my webcam's covering it, but on the top right you'll get like something that'll tell you your next next objective. I like how it just says follow him. Like, uh, okay. <laughs> it's it's just the fact that it's written in such an, an eerie way. Oh, 
It requires context to understand what I'm hinting at, you know? What we saw in the original game. This version of Sephiroth's theme we're hearing right now is like... Yeah. It's like the one that plays during the Nibelheim incident and right before you fight him at the end in the Northern Crater. We have Nibelheim and Midgar in the background. He's like, wait, master. Your humble servant needs time to catch up. You're not real. You're dead. I am. Uh... I killed you with my own. <gasps> oh, you need not remind me. <laughs> it was the crowning moment of our time together, but that was then, and this is now. I have a favor to ask. You thought you killed Our him. <laughs> beloved planet is dying. Slowly. Silently. Painfully. I never noticed that Can belt on him to see the before. planet suffer? That belt, I mean. So many things will be lost. Your hometown burns so bright. The sound of her voice pleading for me to spare you. The shiver of her flesh yielding to cold steel. That which binds us together would be no more, and I would be loath to live in such a world. Which is why I must ask you this one favor. Don't worry. It's a simple thing. Run, Cloud. Run away. You have to leave. You have to live. You bastard! Yeah! Son of a... Good, Cloud. Very good. Hold on to that hatred. Because <laughs> that's how I'll control you. Run away. I'm seeing things. Fumes from all the Mako, maybe. All right. You got this. Run away and live. He's implying if he doesn't run away, he'll die? Oh shit, they're playing music from Advent Children. Funny how even before Remake released four years ago, and I watched Advent Children, Dirge of Service, and Crisis Core, I didn't catch these things. The fact that the music that's playing right now is the soundtrack from Advent Children. I didn't catch that last time. When I watched other streamers uh, way back then, four years ago, when this game came out, I watched other streamers uh, play this, do their first playthrough after I finished mine. They would point these things out, and I was like, oh shit, I missed that. Like, <laughs> I completely missed so many references to other uh, place got hit too? other media in, in the FF7 franchise. The compilation, I guess. I must be seeing things. Girlfriend's waiting for me Everyone, at the station. Please remain calm. Help isn't on the way. Sure, we could try the alley, but is getting to the station really worth breaking our necks over? Yes, because we won't. This is to give you a hint on where to go. I hope whoever did this is happy. Just calm down. They are. Just let me go home. Please. Well, can't go this way. 
All right, need to find Do another route. Do something route. before the, the train stops. Get out of this place. My family. Whoever did this is gonna pay. I have to believe in you. Jesus, it's crazy if you run past them. Oh, the kid. Okay, that caught me off guard. I don't remember that from last time. I don't know if I actually saw that kid last time I did this. This is all over. Moments like these get me the most emotional when I think about, like, real life victims of terrorist attacks, you know? Anywhere in the world, no matter where it is. When I'm able to relate what's happening in the game to, like, real-world scenarios, that's when, uh, it gets me the most. But that kid down there, it just got me because, you know, he lost his mother. It's like, the pain of, of that kind of loss is just... especially at that age. Once you're on the street, you want to head for the plaza with the fountain. The station's not too far. That way, I guess? Why is the camera forcing itself this way? What the fuck? I'm, I gotta go down the stairs. Okay, there we go. <laughs> These fire escape stairs are just as janky to go up and down, kind of, as the ones from GTA 4. Your character will just like get stuck on them if you try to go up or down too fast. said to leave. My friends at the station. The president needs to make a statement. Where can we go that's oh. safe? The damage isn't as bad as I thought. Please, it is my responsibility to keep you safe and escort you to the shelter. We'll wait for the military. Yes, they will have been trained for this sort of thing. This music specifically plays in the intro to Advent Children when they recap the original game's storyline. The original the Left 7. Don't let the, the intruder bomb. escape. The mayor's a lousy bum. Security's everywhere. Like, yeah, if they see us, they'll kill us. The real target was people like us, here on the plate. What? Those filthy slum rats are jealous of everything we have. You think so? So I'm sure that Shinra will compensate you for all that. 
Social... Social hierarchy, right? What that other woman had just said earlier, before I crossed the street. This is what uh, inequality produces. This divides people. Needlessly. Structural violence, as it's called. The divisive nature of it causing violence. Hatred and discrimination. I was like, what the, the fuck's up with her? You are too weak to save anyone. Not even yourself. Are you okay? Hey, are you okay? I'm fine. Here, this is for you. Huh? Aw, thank you. A flower? That's right. It's a gift. You know, for scaring those things away. What things? What things? <laughs> I was like, you were just... Never mind. Think of it as a memento. Swatting at the air. Just my luck. I heard that, you know. How much? How much? Well, that depends on the customer. In your case... <laughs> it's on the house. Huh? Sweet! Lovers used Dylan. to get these when they were reunited. Fitting. You son of a... Look, I'm involved in things. Dangerous things. Oh, I'm sure you are. <laughs> so? She does not so give a fuck, bro. <laughs> Wait. You think someone's out to get you? Is that what you're all worked up about? Relax. No one's going to attack you. I promise. Hey, a Mako reactor just blew. You shouldn't be out here trying to self- <laughs> Help me! Surprise, motherfucker! Now you can see them. Get the hell out of here. Earth went that way. It's over here. I don't think I got this on my first playthrough. That bastard couldn't have gotten far. Stay alert. Don't want to stick around here. That's for sure. Interesting how Claude couldn't see those things until. Aerith touched him. Zephros keeps going on about how Cloud's not going to be able to save himself. No more He's going to die. Anyway. Very ominous. Was never in doubt. What's this? Dude, I can hear the instruments for the original Final Fantasy VII battle music. Oops. That's not how you open the map anymore, sorry. This way. Yeah. Bro, oh, which way it actually is. All clear. No sign of him. All clear. Or is it either way? 
No, you have to go down. Kill! Now you're in for it. Let's Barrels. go. I love all the different renditions of the original game's battle music for this one. The different moods. Just give it up! Don't run! That they Take add to it in this game. Damn, that dude went flying. There's nowhere to run! Oops, right, you can't sprint in battle, you just run like this. Oh, fuck that! By the way, now that we see Cloud running like this, I remember somebody complaining about Dark Knight's run in FF14. Which, yeah, target. it's not the best. All I think about is they could have just made him run like this, right? But if they had, I wonder what Reaper's running animation would have been, because it would have been way too similar. God damn it. everything here. A missile almost hit me. Be advised! Target approaching residential area! Steal all action immediately! Target sighted! Get him! It's all or nothing now. Oh, it sounds like a Stinian saying that shit. <laughs> this actually was the game that inspired me to try FF14. I figured if Square Enix could make a game this high quality. To at least try their MMO everybody's been raving about. I still didn't start playing 14 till like several months after I played first played this game though. But still. Don't underestimate him! I'll end this. <laughs> Nothing to it. Never in doubt. Confirmed! Target has entered residential area! All lockdown is in effect! All units! Get 
The Adventure of Stamp Book 3. Wish I could go in first person. Stamp stands up for his friends. Cute. I don't know what... Oh, he's... Yeah, he's carrying a, an, like, an injured puppy on his back. It's a dog carrying another dog on his back, yeah. I don't know what uh, that breed of dog is called. Oh, it's a subway system, yeah. Let's go. He's like, I'm gonna enjoy this. I'll end this. Steady. Dude, I forgot about that scene. One of the infantrymen actually Chris recognizes you. Joining us after all. No need to assume the worst. I'm sure he's fine. You saw him in action, didn't you? Guy's a soldier. Goddamn one-man army. You think he's a keeper? <laughs> he meant for avalanche, of course. 100%. I got frozen. Wrong button. Uh, yeah, Meant to do that. Surprise, motherfucker. Uh -huh. uh, what the hell you been up to, huh? You <laughs> giving public suck. security the runaround. That's what. Had to draw them away from the station somehow. Nicely done. 
Well, can't argue with results, huh? <clears throat> what? <sighs> Wait. Got a question for you all. What? Ever been attacked by an invisible enemy? Uh, what? <laughs> Wearing robes. Came and went like the wind. <laughs> Thought they were invisible. They were, at first. Only saw them after she grabbed me. A new Shinra weapon, maybe? <laughs> More like a panic-induced hallucination. <clears throat> Never mind. Forget I said anything. Suit yourself. Come on, let's move up. <sighs> A lot of people here. And in the freight car, too. Because of the evacuation order, maybe? Sector Lucky us. Station We've got a crowd to hide here. Head for the front of the train and hold there. At Mako Reactor 1. An emergency schedule is now in effect. Your understanding and cooperation is appreciated. Okay. I will BRB. I gotta use the restroom real quick. Well, that's not the best place to put that. There we go. Where are we at? Oh. Well, we're 10 minutes away from a break. I might as well just take it early then. Why am I gonna come back in five minutes and then in five minutes of just be like, all right, I'm taking another break. <laughs> like, I might as well just take a break right now. So it's a little early, by like 10-ish minutes or so. But um, but yeah, might as well. So, BRB, I guess. <laughs> Bruh. Uh -oh! Hey, <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> Um, I'm stupid, I know. I just like to make myself laugh with my own fucking soundboard. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Jesus. That's what I get. Alright, let's keep going. Does it say what chapter we are on here? I think this is like chapter 3 now, right? Or, or is that the next one? Where are we at? I think we're still in chapter 2. Please, it's safe. You see the size of that fire? You know what? I like they their style. An attack, but I'm not so sure. A studded belt, leather jacket. I heard there were anti Shinra folks, but this. This is. He kind of matches her, too. Yeah, I like her outfit. Jesus, it's so get home. so crowded in here. Maybe the freight cars not so fast. Wow, who'd have thought there'd be people riding in the freight car? I guess they don't have much choice, but rather them than me. <laughs> Thanks, lady. Sector eight will be back to normal in no time. It has to be. Uh, so crammed. Holy shit. Shit, dude. Man, everyone's on the edge. Stop that right now! Of course they are. Hey, Cloud. I am. If you're sleep? about to unburden yourself, no don't. Sheesh. You don't make it easy. All I want to do is pass How clear does he have to make it that he doesn't care about you, Wedge? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is Kirie. She got up and then moved over here after she was sitting over there. Will her house still be there? Just leave me alone. Not saying a word. I'll be nice and talk to my brothers. I want to look up. to take a hint, buddy? I want to look up where she's from, but I'm afraid if I look up anything for FF7 right now, I'm just gonna spoil shit from. I'll, I'll get spoilers for Rebirth, so a little late for that. But yeah, four yeah. years ago, I went into a deep dive on the lore on on my own after I played remake. Why don't you learn to take a hint, buddy? Looking up FF7 compilation stuff, so like Dirge of Cerberus and all that stuff. I saw so much content that was like Japanese exclusive that never came out over here on the West, in the West or whatever. Um, 
the cell phone game that was about the Turks, which was a, called Before Crisis, I believe. Came out episodically in Japan. I saw the synopsis for that whole story, and somewhere in that mess, I saw something about Kirie, and I was like, oh, so she's not an original character to this, to FF7 Remake. Like, she's actually from the compilation of FF7, and so is her mother, which I think in this game she goes by something of the... The Guardian of the Slums or something? I, I forget her nickname. We'll find out later. I'll mention her. Hey, got a sec? What's up, dude? Uh, holding up pretty well, huh? Even after what we saw at the station and all over Sector 8? I'm a soldier. Wow. You see, my daughter my hands are still Sector shaking. Eight, so... You get used to it. Something to look forward to. <laughs> or maybe not. Have they caught the perpetrators yet? It's amazing how much, uh... The Genova cells and the Mako have influenced Cloud into thinking he's actually surface. lived this kind of stuff before. And like, you know, he's this... This hard ass or whatever. I can't believe but we I all saw the truth in Crisis Core. Little help, Cloud? Please? Don't What's up? I can't stop thinking yeah, about it. The, the bomb I made shouldn't have too. produced an explosion that big. It doesn't make any sense. The explosion triggered a reaction with the Mako. You said so Good yourself. That was my first guess, going. but shouldn't sure the reactor have fail safes to prevent too. that kind of thing? No, sure mm. wouldn't let that happen. You mentioned invisible enemies back there, right? Right. Oh, no. I'm just looking for excuses for something that was clearly my own fault. <sighs> Gotta own up to it if I'm gonna learn from this and move on. Thanks, Cloud. You're a good listener. People tell me that a lot. I mean, I don't know about Cloud, but it's meant me in real life. You wouldn't think with how much I blabber myself, but what kind of maniacs would even go I'm so surprised when they say bomb it. Bomb a reactor. <sighs> They've yet to announce it publicly, but I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Really? It's the Shinra Aren't manager. They the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, <laughs> quit talking about your ass. <laughs> Everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. He can't help himself, man. J just who do you think you are? A law-abiding concerned citizen. Law-abiding? <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, 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 shh. Oh, I you. In my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. Dude, bullshit. You got it? Heard it loud and clear? Y'all's masters? <laughs> we will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world. Bullshit. <laughs> that is the Shinra Creed. <laughs> Them fighting words. It's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? We should go. Right. I mean, what else could he say in response to that, right? Oh, Not like Shinra goodness. lives up to their own creed, but still. Whether it's theirs or not, Man, this his words are pretty truthful. Molasses, am I right? Time for a little nap. To the station. I know I'd rather resort to non-violent ways of changing the world than doing what uh, Barrett's doing. I didn't hear anything. You gotta oh, believe me. This thing. Okay. Well, I get it if you can't relate. They'd probably kill us if they knew we were the ones responsible. No shit, they would. How much longer till the station? This train is slower than the last. Is that my right? Doesn't say. I don't know if talking to him advances the story or Jesse. You hear that suit? Shinra creed my ass. Oh yeah, they're full of shit. Yeah, I mean, Shinra would obviously say things like that just for public manipulation. 
manipulation of public opinion, but... The creed itself, though, sounds pretty solid, yeah. I said it before, violence should only be a last resort and as a form of self-defense. Let's get this out of the way. Personally, I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. Sure. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not... <laughs> There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. <laughs> so, here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar, complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level. Atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an ID checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar. Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history, all that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. Don't worry, our IDs are impeccable. What I tell you, have a little faith. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there gotta struggle to survive. Shinra sucks up Mako. While the soil turns to dust, the air fills with smog, and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> That's what's always worked for me. Well, that's all well and good. If you're only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know? True. He got you there. They're too economically oppressed to do anything about their situation. They can't even leave. Like this train, I suppose. There's only one way it can go. Yep. I like how the <laughs> Chapter 3 Home Sweet Slum. I like how they sarcastically said that bear looks like a law abiding citizen. I was about to be like, that sounds racist! And you also gotta remember he has a fucking Gatling gun grafted onto his arm, so it's like, well. I guess it is kind of hard to take someone seriously if they say they're a law abiding citizen, they got that thing on their arm. <laughs> You can't hide that. Hot damn, we are good! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Bombs detonated one, members lost zero. And one step closer to a Son brighter a future. Bitch. Hell yeah! Guys! Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. Oh, right. uh. Uh. <laughs> now get some r, &R. You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. Uh, at Seventh Heaven. You know where Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting. She'll worry. <sighs> Vector Seven, Under City Station. Now things are gonna calm down and be a little more peaceful for a bit. Takes all the way till chapter three, a quarter of the way. No, there's 17 chapters, so Are you sure? not a quarter of the way. I almost How thought it was 12. Here taking the news. It's got a lot of them worried, but not enough to stop them from partying, I guess. Don't they realize what's happened? Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. You've seen that huge explosion on TV? Yeah, yeah, I saw it. I'll stop by one of the food stalls. So, you hear that burger joint staying open tonight? No way! I'd kill for one right now. In the original game, Sector 7's alright, but in this game, with this music and just the overall ambience, especially once we actually get in there properly, not here at the train station so much, it gives me a very, like, home... like, very homey vibe. 
Like, it feels like I'm at home. I feel really comfortable here. It feels so relaxing. The music helps a lot, but even the ambience is fine for me. We'd go into a train graveyard at night. People talk, rumors spread, and kids get curious. You know how it is. Speaking of which, you hear it was supposedly a ghost, not a monster, that attacked that guy this afternoon? They must have been seeing things. She's got some big ass rifles. Oh, there's submachine guns. Talk about weird stuff going down. A reactor bombing, a train graveyard getting closed off. What? The graveyard's closed? One of the locals was attacked by some kind of monster, so the watch told people to keep out. That must be what those guards were talking I'm about. Going on a ghost hunt. Come on out, ghosts! Of course no one's here to pick me up. It's got a lot of worry. Why would they be? Why did my office have to burn down? Did they realize what's in my so screwed. Poor bastard. I like how this music is basically the world map music from the first half of FF7. Well, I'll have you know, I was worried sick. Just seeing your faces. Are you crying? It's the couple! Except they don't look like punks this time. They're right under this lamppost in the original game, but. Let's go someplace a little less crowded, huh? Okay. This is supposed to have. Except the only place around here is the train graveyard, which everyone says is haunted. But that's cool, right? Uh, have a rain check? <laughs> well, he backed out of that real quick. He's supposed to have long, spiky hair, sunglasses, and then like a fucking shirtless tank top looking okay. thing and so what do we and and, and and the reactor have in common uh everyone gets pissed off when we stop working i need a new job nice comparison actually it's a good metaphor <laughs> what are you me and the reactor have in common okay. everyone gets so pissed off when we stop working <laughs> that's true man Especially in our digital age that we live in now, if there's a power outage, ooh, people be bugging. It's funny how as, like, for me, my personal experience growing up, as the internet became more and more of a necessity for, for life in our modern society, power outages actually became way more, like, way less frequent. Like, I feel like I rarely ever experience power outages anymore, and I used to experience them a lot growing up. Maybe that's just, you know, tinfoil hat shit, but... Yeah, same with internet though. Internet outages, like, no matter which router or modem we would buy, we would constantly have outages. Most of the time, very short, sporadic ones, but sometimes really long outages where the internet just wouldn't work. That stopped happening several years ago. I noticed when it stopped, I was like, wow, we went a whole year without a single, like, our modem never died or anything. Um, I was like, that's interesting. And then several years went by without e any internet outages. Now it's like such a super rare thing. Like, our internet never goes out anymore. But dude, in the 2000s and the early 2010s, it was horrible. The internet was so Train inconsistent. Train have concluded for the day. We will provide an update on the schedule first thing tomorrow morning. Thank you for your patience. Emergency train services have now concluded. This was the final train of the day. We apologize for the inconvenience, but please have a safe journey home. So the two materials that you see on Cloud's Buster Sword, kind of random to bring this up now, are these two. So whichever ones you want to see on the Buster Sword are these two, not not these the rest of these, which are these slots are only added when you level it up a little bit. But yeah, whichever ones you want to see, you got to put them here. So those are the two HP ups, basically, right there. I told him, son. The goal isn't to make a fortune, it's to make people happy. If someone's having a bad day, it's your job to put a smile on their face. Well, by the looks of things, I'd say he took that lesson to heart. Yeah. One slum slider Too bad that is not how corporations think when they set up shop. They're just looking for the bottom line. They want the profits. 
They're not doing. They're not doing it to bring smiles to people's faces. But I guess that's their point, right? With that. Sounds great. They're trying to like show that contrast or something. Oh, that's right. There were little music boxes like this where you could. Oops. I didn't even realize you could bump into people. Little music boxes to collect music throughout the game. There was collectibles for music. I forgot about that in this game. We don't. We don't see the little icon to pick it up or anything anymore because I'm playing New Game Plus, but yeah, that, that is a thing. I bet it'll still be a thing in Rebirth, too. Yeah, so like, I've been to events and just areas of certain cities that give off this same exact vibe. Or like, even if it's nighttime like this, it's very well lit. The, the area is nice. There's a lot of people around talking. Everyone's having a good time. There's little snack stands and so to eat and stuff like this. And it's just a great vibe. Like, and this this place in this game here, like, captures that vibe so well for me. It just makes me feel right at home. Well, then you can fall in love with Fried Marsh all over again. Like, I really love Sector 7 in this game. The slums. It's actually really, really nice. I wish I could tell you, but sadly, I don't share your passion for processed food. <laughs> and I think my t-shirt would agree with you on that. Comment about processed food being shit. Yeah. I'm just waiting for a friend. The bartender here can take one look at you and know exactly what you want. Hey, that's pretty cool. Can we even trust the hotels around here? I bet their mattresses are crawling with bugs. <laughs> yeah, that'd be no bueno. <laughs> what does that say? Why did we have to come to the slums? There's trash everywhere. And Can't quite make it out. Shh, it's so loud. I think he's over by the TVs. He's been watching the news this whole time. Oh, that's actually not a bad idea. I want to know if they've caught anyone. No words can describe how bright the flames were. What kind of person bombs a reactor? The kind of person who goes around putting up flyers all over the slums, I expect. That sounds cool. Huh? Huh? It's a nice reference to what they say at the end of the original FF7 before the Northern Crater. Was it Baird or Tifa? One of them's like, we've come a long way from, um... You know, Avalanche started as putting up flyers over, like, the slums in Midgar, they said. This might have just been an Echo S thing, because they were trying to keep it consistent with Remake storyline a little bit. Um... Well, the lore, I guess. And then they said, now we're gonna go, you know, defeat Sephiroth and save the entire planet from Meteor. They said Avalanche has grown quite a bit. Something like that. I forgot there's no save points here. You can save wherever. I was wondering why we never found one. <laughs> I was like, where's the save point? I got used to Crisis Core still having that ancient so save system. Had it so good because of the reactors. And those bombings changed all that. Yeah, well, shoes on the other foot now. Let's see how they like fighting to survive. They're people too, you know. <gasps> yeah. Thank God one of them said it. Like, hey, yeah, they're the upper class, but they're still people. Don't be a complete asshole about it. But we did hear some of them talking shit about the people in the slums too, you know? That's what I'm saying, man. Everyone's people. Everyone. But when you create class division like this, social hierarchies, you just turn everyone against each other. Anytime you put people into groups and label them, you know, rich people, poor people, white, black, anything you can think of, you know, Christian, something else, you know, Christian, Catholic, you, all these labels just divide people and put them against each other in one form or another. And sometimes that manifests in great expressions of violence, sometimes lesser forms of violence, but sooner or later it always it always turns to violence in some way, even if it's only verbal. Um, there's like levels to it. Sometimes it gets extreme, sometimes it's just, you know, calling each other names, um, or just like a very general vibe of hostility. That's all that happens when you separate people and categorize them into groups, no matter what those categories are. Because of the reactors. You heard that already? It was completely insane. Security was out in full force looking for the bombers. I even saw a few helicopters. Wow, 
Oh, that sounds intense. <laughs> Hold on, I forgot to do this. Why do I have to hit the refresh? That's annoying. I guess it's a minor thing. Oh no, because then I have to pause this too. Okay, whatever. Just have to remember to do that when I get back from the break. It's like a giant candle lighting up the whole sky. All that debris piled up like mountains. You couldn't go nowhere. Huh? Sector 8 was a nightmare. Fires everywhere. Huh. <sighs> Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. You bastard! Goddamn eco warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and I'm back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. Why don't you have anything better to do? I mean, look at all that steelwork. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> so it is. What the? You okay, buddy? <sighs> Mako Surprise, junkie, huh? motherfucker! Figures. You Need some puff and fumes of Mako to get high? You again. He's like, you're gonna tell me that's that steel work up there is in progress? It's like, no, it is. Listen, we can have our cake and eat it too, guys. It is possible. Like, we can have high-end technology fueled by clean energy that doesn't kill the planet. That is a thing. It's been a thing for a very long time now. But some people just, um... They tie their identity too much to fossil fuels and whatever they relate to. Uh... Especially whatever institutions tend to use them and all that. So much that they can't see past that. They blinker out information, selective listening, selective hearing, I guess. Things like that. And they just don't, they just don't get that for some reason. Like, we don't have to go back to living like cavemen. Um, to live sustainably. Far from it. It's far more sustainable to use our technology to the best of its ability. Um... To make life better with clean energy. Most people just can't see that for some reason, though. It was a lot worse back in the 90s and the 2000s. I feel like a lot more people have come around to that idea now. You know, to actually knowing more or less what we're actually cap uh, capable of technologically. But there's still a lot of people that are innocently or willfully ignorant of what we can actually do at this point in time. Like, if, we, if you really study like the most advanced technology that's available now i don't mean publicly available i'm talking about what's what's actually possible and like maybe even like if you look at stuff that the military is doing like nanotechnology artificial intelligence yeah you hear about it a little bit in the mainstream and in the public but if you really dig deep into what private corporations or the government can actually do the kind of technology they they have access to um the higher ups and all that it's it's like people would think we're living in some kind of Star Trek kind of thing. Like it's far above what what we can use as normal people, like out in public and in our private lives. Um, I'm sure they have much more advanced like cell phones in the government and like the higher branches of the government, things like that. Is what I'm saying. In general, um, we have some very high tech shit. That's it's just, but because it's not like out in the public eye and ev not everyone has access to it. Um, People don't see it, so then they don't even they don't even realize it. How advanced technology actually is at this point. So it's a lot more than what you see when you go outside, basically. I missed that last bit that Big said. I'm reading it right there, what they're saying right now, but... He said, I can hardly tell my skin from what? When he's talking about getting that warm shower or whatever. I don't know what it was. But yeah, I touched on renewables a little bit during... Was it original FF7 or Crisis Core? Somebody said something and I started... I went off... Not a very long tangent, but I said something about geothermal energy. That's an example most people don't even think about. 
whenever you bring up like renewables people are like oh solar panels as if that's the only option and that's kind of what i'm getting at is that a lot of people are very ignorant about our the technology we have for renewable energy in this case because of what that guy was saying back there a lot of people are very ignorant to how many different options we actually have with regards to renewable energy that are like far far more efficient and effective than solar energy and especially far more effective than fossil fuels um, and geothermal is one one such example. Yeah, there's also wave power, absorbing the kinetic energy from waves in the ocean. The underwater currents as well. There's ways that we have technology to generate energy from that as well. Everybody knows about wind turbines, and there are designs to, to limit uh, casualties of birds. You know, from birds flying into the turbines. Um, they have... There are designs, I've seen them, for um, limiting or completely eliminating killing birds with those as well i mean there's so many different options that it's just but so many people don't even realize it they just they don't know you know because nobody really talks about that kind of stuff unless you're actually focused on trying to promote like renewable energies and stuff well you know the general public as a whole won't really well yeah most people just don't know what we're capable of not just with renewable energies is what i'm getting at either just in general they don't really know how far technology has really come because there's so much of it that just isn't publicly available yet or isn't implemented into our infrastructure so people have no idea warning gate broken fiends in area exercise caution no reason to check it out not my problem <laughs> but yeah all of that was just my long-winded way of saying that we don't have to give up all this progress, as that guy said, when he looked up at the plate. Um, in order to not kill the planet. It's you the wrong mentality. You don't want to mess with the monsters in here. Move along now. Public security should know who did it, so... So you'll interrupt them while they're working? Come on, it's one little question. <laughs> they're gonna rat us out? Let me kill him. Um, excuse me. Uh, due to an emergency, entry into this area oh, these is guys. prohibited. Sorry for the inconvenience. Say with the chest. That a warning? There it no, is. Sir. <laughs> I love it. That's almost like word for word the dialogue from the original In soldiers. In accordance with emergency regulations, entry into this area is prohibited. Please leave at once. Still too nice. <laughs> okay. I like how Cloud looks, looks at both of them. This area is off limits. Turn around and leave at once. If you don't, I'll have no choice but to use force. Now you're getting the hang of it. <laughs> Dylan. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> so now you got it. Say it with your chest. What does this say? Don't let them avalanche. Oh, okay. Ooh. Home sweet home. Sector 7. Ooh. The slums. See, I like the vibe here, man. It's nice. Have a great day. The seventh heaven. Thank you, Zach, for coming up with the name. Well, she was looking at me. I was like, she gonna say something? Oh, I can't rotate the camera right now. There we go. Once again, police supplies are currently being distributed in the lobby of the Shinra building. Doctors are also stationed at the building's disaster relief center. If you are unable to reach the building on your own, please contact the nearest... No freaking way! Put that fire out, idiots! I was there yesterday. ...the state of emergency in Midgoth. The administration has issued assurances that they are doing everything in their power to provide aid to those most in need. Are they gonna turn the reactor off? Why did people blow it up? ...but security services are working tirelessly to identify those involved. If you have any information pertaining to the identity of the perpetrators, please contact your nearest public security officer oh. or security headquarters. Glad I got today off. Uh, am I still going to have a job? Guess I'll find out. Once again, Did everyone get out in time? Are currently being distributed in the lobby of the Shinra building. Doctors are also stationed at the mm. building's disaster relief center. If you are unable to what do you know? That ain't half bad. I'll make a grease monkey out of you yet. Thanks. I've always dreamed of opening up my own shop, so I can look after my parents, you know? 
<laughs> well, a man can always dream, can he? The seven, the S on Seventh Heaven is on, yeah, up there is like so blurred by the light that it almost feels like it says Eventh. Tifa, Marlene, Dylan, <laughs> Marlene. <laughs> Dylan's not here, but Marlene and Tifa. Are. Daddy, you're home. God damn, she's beautiful. That's right, Angel. I am. Back. <laughs> I'm simping immediately. Yeah, I've been helping Tifa. Oh, you did, did you? Well, well. <laughs> Marlene's cute, too. You made it. <laughs> Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. <laughs> a real flower? Here you go. Huh? Giga Chad Cloud. How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. It has been five years. Huh? <laughs> Smooth. I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. She definitely grew into her own. You guys remember what I said in Crisis Daddy, Core? <laughs> the Marvel place blew up. Everyone on TV is talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? I was like, uh, we saw her when she was. 15, I believe we established it was. Um, yeah, because Cloud was 16. In the Nibelheim incident, when we were playing as Zack, and I was just like, yeah, she's still growing into her own here. And then here she is, fucking 20 years old now, and god damn! I heard rumors of people saying, way before this game came out, that they thought she was gonna be nerfed. I don't see a nerf, man. I see an upgrade. Also because of the graphics, I don't think the size changed, really. She just looks more realistic. As realistic as an anime character can be, right? But you know what I mean. She looks more, slightly more realistically proportioned than she did in the original game. Her tits in the original game were just... They were literally just balloons, man. They were, like, especially when you see the CGI cutscenes, they're just way too fucking big and... The shape was not quite right. Now she actually looks a lot like... Yeah, she looks more realistic. Even if it's still not fully realistic, because they are 3D anime characters, but still. More so than the original game, for sure. Marlene is super cute. Like, there's some scenes later in this game where she really shines, and it's just like, cuteness overload. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. You scared. Hey! Oh, what the hell do you think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? You son of a- Daddy says never talk to strangers. Look at her. <laughs> She's so cute. That's right, honey. I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. But I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, daddy. Mmm. All right, but just this once. <laughs> uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. Dating simulator activated. Uh, right. They know what they're doing with that first person camera when she leaned in like that About and said, that, What can I get you? We should talk outside. <sighs> um, Daddy? Did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. Yeah, they did. I hate to see her leave, but I love to watch her walk away. Let that Eric? be a lesson to you. <laughs> Just shoving my ass like that. All right, Barry, go ahead and have your ego trip, buddy. Oh yeah, you can send music here. I'll leave it. I'll, I'll let the normal music play. Uh. What's up, Tifa? Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. 
The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Damn. Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. That's one hell of a deal, not having to How pay rent. How was it up on the plate? It was chaotic. Especially here in California. It was, it was wrong crazy. of me to put you in danger I like that. that I promise Don't I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shinra. How'd that go? Not good at all. That strut of hers. So, you make nice with everyone? Much as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. <laughs> you could say that, that again. <laughs> Even Cloud admits it. <laughs> I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. I'm the glad I don't have an eye tracker on me right now. Piece. I'll spread whatever lies Shinra tells them to. One of my friends so said they saw it burning. It wasn't that bad? That reactors were it was. Safe. Oh, right. We had that eye tracker app right now. And I'm ashamed here we to are. say where my Good eyes would be. <laughs> Heights. You're on the second floor. You need a special webcam for that, actually? Because I know I've seen some streamers actually use that. Like they like there's some streamers that have for fun actually put on a, a program on their PC to that their webcam will track where their eyes are looking, you know? <laughs> Specifically for this Room kind of situation. Room here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with 7th Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. I wonder if I'll ever get the story on how she inherited that bar. Zach's the one who named it. That one NPC who built it. How did Tifa get it? Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, nice. I already told the landlady about you. You did? Oh, thanks. Yes? Oh, I mean, I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No, it's fine. And this? Yeah, she didn't rat out your identity that or anything, dude. Uh, you know what? It's getting late. <gasps> I'll introduce you tomorrow. That one over there is this guy are sick. Wait, can I talk to her or is this? I think it's on rails right now. If I try to walk away too far, she'll be like, hey. No. What are you doing? You've never even met this person. <laughs> I was talking to himself like, why am I walking over here and doing this right now? I like how treasure chests in this game actually change thematically for the area you're in. We didn't see that in Crisis Core, unfortunately. Alright, sorry about that, babe. I had to take a detour for some treasure. I'm looting the place. It's a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it. There is one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2,000, remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... First. That's it? Sorry. Uh. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. <gasps> but not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. Oh, shit! And you're sure about that? Of course. As long as you help, that is. Wait. Then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Yeah! Never mind. No. Two thousand's <laughs> enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, that leaves fifteen hundred. You're the best. I'll see you bright and early at the bar then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. Cloud has a heart, man. He's all right. He doesn't mind putting a little, a little extra overtime. Picking up air filters, huh? <sighs> I'm glad the Buster Sword in this game is actually a viable weapon at the end game. <laughs> Being balanced and everything. Helps with the roleplay if you want to replay the story using it, you know? Guess it's time for introductions. <laughs> yeah, the neighbor. Because in the original game, the Buster Sword is obsolete after you leave Midgar. There's no reason to ever use it again, it is way too weak. My favorite creepy music. 
Fuck, I didn't... Of course I forgot to set an alarm. I don't know how long it's been since I got back from my last break. Shit. I remember I was, I was so happy and excited when I first heard this. The blood trail music. I was like, oh my god, I can't wait for the Shinra building. <sighs> Too bad in this game it's kind of a letdown. Like, this part's a little creepier. Change the instruments, but... The composition of the song is mostly intact. People shake. Good time to test that email. Sometimes I... My account, like, just stops working with, um... 7TB emotes, so... Without telling me. It's just, like... They just deactivate. I don't know if I have people. What about this one? Oh, I have that one. There we go. <laughs> Good, that one's working. Hey, you okay in there? Oh. Coming in. Motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, you can't really swing that easily in here, dude. Get off your reef. Get back inside. Get off me. The northern crater. <sighs> Number 49? Did I read that right? What are you doing, yeah. Marco? This is his apartment. He's got a few problems, but he's not a bad guy. The landlady asked me to check on him now and then to make sure he's okay. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure. Like Tifa, this motherfucker looked like Sephiroth for a few minutes. I might have, I might have just been in Cloud's head, but was it? How do you sleep in that, man? Let's see on that side. The side with the armor plate, the shoulder pad, or whatever the fuck. <laughs> this seems like a good save point. Like a good spot for a manual save. I technically don't need backup saves. But it might be nice. Like I don't need them. But it might mean it might be nice to have them in case like maybe I forget something. Story-wise, during this playthrough and go like, Oh fuck, I want to go back to show that real quick or something. Yeah, you never know. Yeah, I'll do it here. Well, actually, I don't even have... This is just from... Yeah, I can start here, actually. I can start with one. And then we'll go to slot two. I'll probably do manual saves at the, like... The save crystal reference points. The benches where you rest. That literally have the ch the big C that used to float above the cri the save crystals in the original game. The C for checkpoint, I guess. That's what I speculate what it was. Yeah, I totally forgot to. When the hell did I get back? I don't even know. I'll just keep going for a little bit longer before I take another break, I guess. Because I cannot. Holy shit! It's bright. I like how we saw a flash forward or a flash back to the northern crater. The mystery of this game. 
I enjoy it quite a bit. The fact that they decided to kind of make this remake like a sequel rather than just a one-to-one -one purist remake. I think it's a pretty cool idea. We'll see where it goes. Well now, you must be Cloud. <sighs> I'm Marl, your landlady. So how'd you like the place? You from up on high? I've been around. Damn, her hair I'll looks bet. fucking beautiful. I like no that. No matter. All kinds come through with all kinds of reasons. I if you ever touch need it. an ear to bend, I'll lend you mine. Can be about anything, even Tifa. What's she to you? The granddaughter I never had. And if you hurt her, I'll take it out of your hide. You hear me? Loud and clear. <laughs> Good. Now you'd best get a move on to Seventh Heaven. She's got a head start on you and then some. Her head, her hair looks like a feather duster, like a mega thick one. You know, Tifa's probably wondering why you haven't joined her yet. A granddaughter I never had. That's sweet. Nothing to report. Maintaining surveillance. Oh, he must buy is so cool. Holding position until night. We'll report any developments immediately if observed. I, I was gonna say, like, who's saying all that? It was well hidden, man. What's gonna happen to Midgar? It was just one reactor, dear. Everything's gonna be fine. Not if Avalanche has anything to say about it. Shinra can't afford to let such a horrible act of terrorism go unanswered. This disaster's cost a lot of folks their livelihoods. Shinra needs to do something to show the people they're on their side. At the end of the day, it's just a company. They're not on anyone's side but their own. That guy knows what's up. Yeah. The only side they're on is the side of profit. That's all they give a that fuck about. That landlady, Marl. She's always looking out for the neighborhood girls. Marla, old lady over there, the neighborhood girls like Tifa. The watch is saying they're going to step up their game. How? Ain't they shorthanded? Absolutely. But with the bombing and all, they're trying extra hard to recruit more people. Literally the world map theme. Until they get Reactor 1 back up and running, the factory's gonna stay shut down. No way we can afford the rent on our place. I'll start looking for a new one. Back to living in a dump somewhere. Aw, uh, damn, dude. If there's anything you require, please do not hesitate to ask. Oh, he doesn't introduce himself. That's new game only, I guess. Oh, he can help you reset your weapon. I forgot about that. Chadley. The VR missions. Eva, Fat Chocobo, Leviathan, and Bahamut. I sense a, a sudden surge of emotion in my future. Well, I think he actually introduces himself when you do a side quest here, but you don't unlock side quests until you go pick up Tifa first. That who Wedge mentioned? The merchant? Huh? Is that who Wedge mentioned? The merchant? Uh -huh. That sword's massive. What does he sell again? Yeah. He, he told him I'm a merchant? That sword is massive! Yeah. The height of his entire body. If you don't want to get hurt, keep your distance. Warning. Gate broken. Fiends in area. Exercise caution. No reason to check it out. Not my problem. Not yet. That sword's massive. <laughs> A merchant? The trains don't start moving again. We're gonna have enough food and other goods to go around. It could get ugly. 
The watch is here to keep the peace. If anything happens, we'll step in immediately. <sighs> Gotta stay focused, even on break. It's the little noises that worry me. Yeah, I heard it too. But we've got no authority down there. Yeah. You've gotta stay focused, even on break. One down. Don't you think? Everybody does. We keep putting off maintenance. Go stamp. I did not mean to bump into that guy. Jesus, Sector 7 is huge now. I'll probably take a break once we make it back to 7th Heaven. Shoot this one out once before. He was really upset about the trash smell. I'll finish walking around the neighborhood first, basically. Next item on the Friends of Freshness agenda? The ongoing sewage problem. Can we expect Shinra to perform any maintenance? The sewer system below the slums is essentially a maze of giant rusted pipes. Any sort of maintenance would be a massive undertaking. Nice Play foreshadowing. One off gigs. No matter how hard I work, I've still got to hustle non stop. One off or not, the pay's still dog shit, though. If they know you're from down here, they're going to try to screw you over regardless. If we can't get food and supplies from the plate anymore, <laughs> we're all dead, right? Thought I'd become a jillionaire coming to Midgar and working my ass off. I might not be rich, but I do enjoy life here more than I did back in Junon. Hmm. Yeah. Guess this place just clicked with her more. Everyone's a little different. That one guy, though, who thought he was gonna become a jillionaire, whatever he called it. He fell for the classic trap. I'm gonna go to the city. And make it in the big time. Now you're just gonna become a wage slave and treated like shit by people who already made it to the big time. Lots of girls who live here have the potential to become big, big stars. One day I'll turn on the TV and see Jesse and all the others. It's gonna be great. Hmm. Reminds me of something I saw in an early trailer for Rebirth, actually. What's the source Again, of nice foreshadowing. Oh, there you go. Keep going. Now, what was I going to say? Something about that guy. Oh, yeah. The odds of actually, you know, being able to change your social status, even if you work your ass off in the big city, pretty fucking low. But people get fed that whole the dream of you can make it if you work hard enough. Well, most people One, work their two, asses off and still three. get nowhere. One, two, shoot! Gotcha! Oh, man. Whoever loses more has to clean the other's room. Huh? I thought we weren't keeping score. <laughs> yes! Yes! Just Typical. like that! Bam! Oh. Changing the rules last minute. One, two, ready? One, two, shoot! One, two, shoot! Ah, you got lucky. Yes! Whoever loses more has to clean the other's room. Huh? I thought we weren't keeping score. Kitty. One, two, ready? One, two, shoot! One, Nobody's two, here. Oh, man. If whoever loses more... Oh, my kid's hiding. Hide and seek. I get it. What's the source of all life? The life stream, right? What's a life stream? Mm. How much we need to buy a house on the mm -hmm. plate? Probably way too much. Look 
canned goods when I get sick of. Oh. I still can't believe that nice young girl who lived next door ran off in the night. Probably with that punk boyfriend of hers. She even stuck a note on the door saying, don't come looking for me. Oh, you think it was the chick at the train station? There's this one dude in the watch who's like a genius cat whisperer, I hear. I wish I could conversate with the little guys. Well, but he wasn't a punk. <sighs> Her boyfriend wasn't a punk this time. He shoved me out of the way. Um, yeah, he, they were both dressed very formally at the train station. It's just me. Or there are more strays around here these days. Definitely more of them hassling me for food. Kitties. moves me to tears but their fur makes my nose run but it's a small price to pay uh oh yeah, cat allergies, allergies huh probably keep your distance i know i know some people have expressed that in real life too they're like in the watch who's like a oh, we heard that already they're like allergic to cats but they they suffer it anyway because they really want to cuddle them you know they really like the cats but didn't she send money back home on the regular then she gets into one of those flashy wall market carriages. What a waste. Ooh. Yikes, yeah. I mean, she went to go become a girl for the dawn. True. I wonder they're like, oh no, what a waste. But hey, maybe she'll be able to send more money back home. Maybe. That chance, I know, but this is yeah. This is where the the two soldiers didn't let people aren't letting people through. This is the train graveyard. Yep. <laughs> New areas for side quests and some main scenario quests coming up too. Okay, so let me just cross these two streets and make my way there. Well, I'll check out the... fuck it. I'll check out the train station daytime. Sleep a wink tonight. Your snoring keeps me up every night. I don't know if that's what he meant, though. Thinking I might join in one of those wall market games. Make us a fortune. Well, here we go. <laughs> don't. You'll get yourself killed. I try and baby anything for you. Remember, he's not gonna let you sleep. You know what that means. Are you gonna be able to walk after? Huh? You want a piece of me? What? <laughs> okay, this guy's unnecessarily aggressive. Think we could get some money if we strip this thing for parts? Looks damn near rusted through to me. I'm game as long as it buys us around. <laughs> the best you can look forward to is a round of beer. A lot more people than usual. Yeah, and they're all a bundle of nerves. <laughs> you can thank the trains for that. Ah, <sighs> oh, Sag. The Sector 8 ladies might have to take refuge here. <laughs> if that happens, I'm not sure we'd all be able to get along. Yeah, that's for sure. Not with that attitude, ladies. If the planet's a living being, we should be learning more about it. Are you serious? What? You think it's all a hoax or something? Yeah. We're all one. We don't know it. We'll find out the hard way. Sooner or later. Huh? The planet is one giant organism. Oh, giant to us, but... Like a dust to the rest of the universe. Oh, they don't say anything this time. Hey, the area around the old factory is off limits. If you want to poke around, you'll have to wait. 
wait till the blockade's lifted. Okay. Step back. <laughs> Nothing else. Hey, the area around the old there are monsters on the plate too, right? Nope. That's not fair. Hmm. We could probably use this if we Welcome to class off. hierarchy and inequality, yeah. Stratified societies. Today. That's not fair, exactly. <laughs> This one could be worth a lot. He really wants that Whatever pipe. Worth, we're splitting it. Yeah, yeah, I know. I've heard of them. They hate everything them. Shinra stands for, or whatever, right? Yeah, I know this bombing screwed me over something fierce. Whew, shit. Guess my sleep wasn't as good as I thought last night. I'm trying to readjust my schedule after that vacation I took. Huh? Just a weekend too. I've seen that poster. There's one just like it near my house. Unless you want public security at your door, I'd take it down. You're right, but they're not wrong. Conservation and the planet are important too. I don't know. Watch who you say that around. <sighs> <laughs> I mean, it's true. If you think about it, the reactors have to be shut down for the planet to survive. And how do we survive after that? With a planet to live on, we'll manage. Oh. There we go. That kind of goes with what I was going to say to that other guy over there. It's just like, well, if the planet goes, we go with it. We're living on it, aren't we? <laughs> so you won't think Malko is too convenient at that point, but by then it'll be too late. But it's just like people don't uh people can't seem to react ahead of time it's never a problem until they can actually see it and feel it but until then ah fuck it they see it as something really far away so they're just like fuck it, let's just keep using mako energy it'll be fine we can always just stop later or something let's not bother trying to seek alternative energy sources now the newscaster said it was avalanche first they bombed the reactor then they shut down the train what will they think of next? Sock the president right in the face? <laughs> joke, but... Mm -hmm. I mean, that wouldn't be a bad idea. <laughs> Considering all the people he killed up there in that explosion. You look like you got topside connections. How about hooking a guy up? Sorry, buddy, I, I don't. <laughs> they stopped the trains like that. I, for one, am not surprised. The expressway did collapse in Sector 8. I can't imagine the station's much better. Yeah, but that's only one sector. Why shut down all the other trains? It doesn't make sense. I recommend that rug there. It's all you need to transform any room without the luxury. And it won't fall apart on me? Its owner Topside had it for 20 years. Sure, it's got some stains and some loose threads, but that just adds to the character. <sighs> Relaxed position this shop uh, owner's got right there. These beauties just came in from the plate. What do you say? I just can't decide. Black <gasps> Millie does not belong in a burger. Never gonna get used to that flavor. <laughs> what the, the hell is Black Millie? Are, that's where I'll be. Some might have lost their faith in Mako energy, but I'll be damned if I let them lose their appetites. If anyone's lost their faith in anything, it's me thinking they'll ever settle down and stop working. Somebody's gotta be on standby for when the kid gets exhausted. Her daughter. My map. I've got it all planned out. I'm gonna tell everyone I'm from Junon or somewhere. Good idea. 
I wouldn't want to deal with the stigma of being from the slums either. Yeah, sadly, it's probably not a bad idea to lie about it, yeah. Best drinks in town are right here. I've got just the thing. You'll never even know you had a nose. Yeah, I heard they even attract foodies from up on the plate. Best drinks in town are right here. Got anything that'll kill my sense of smell? <laughs> Water in my apartment reeks of rotten eggs. I've got just the thing. You'll never even know you had a nose. Jesus. I don't even care if it's not Sector 8. I just want to go back up. Agreed. The stench here is unbearable. <laughs> the Wherever the hungry masses are, that's where I'll be. Some might have lost their faith in Mako energy, but I'll be damned if I let them... Talking to me. Is suspended. Yep. I really needed those hours today. Now my paycheck's gonna be short this time around. Are you in debt? Might as well be. This was the last month my landlord was willing to wait on my rent. Thanks to Avalanche, I'm gonna get evicted. Apparently, not even the station attendants know when the trains will start back up. Their guess is as good as ours. Well, I hope our deal with the Sector 8 office doesn't fall through. Well, worrying isn't gonna help. All we can do is wait patiently. Why are all the train lines shut down? I thought only Sector 1 and 8 were hit. Shinra could be trying to limit the bombers' movements. Make it harder for them to avoid the authorities. What? They're still at large? Avalanche, you'll pay for your crimes. I assume you've heard about those people who went missing in the graveyard? The neighborhood watch is blaming it on monsters, but they're flat out wrong. It was ghosts. There are eyewitness accounts of ghosts abducting some of the victims. Really? The graveyard's off limits. Wouldn't want you to be attacked by monsters. Can't let you pass until our investigation's over. <laughs> think the train graveyard really could be haunted? It'd be so cool if those rumors were true. People do say they've seen ghosts there. You have to come eventually, right? Uh, feels like it's been forever. I miss you so. Feels like it's been forever. Since you Even though it doesn't gone. tilt as much as previous models, the 131 is both faster and more stable than the others. I can't believe it can take a curve like that at those speeds. Yeah, but I kind of like how the 102 rocks back and forth a little bit. Still, compared to the 97, the 131's Mako-based dampening system is a major improvement. With all that strength, oh, wow. it must have been terrible for people to go topside. Oh, I really, really, really want to ride the 97 at least once in my life. You can only get that feeling with older absorbers. Too bad we'll never get the chance. We can always dream. Couple of engineers into making these two kids here. Talking about the train cars and their components. Shinra better compass our lost time. Fat chance. I'm gonna get something to eat. If I never took physics, I never would have known what the hell they were talking about with regards to dampening. I'm basically talking about shock absorbers. What makes them think they can shut down all the lines? Suspension. Ah. Oh, he was trying to test the suspension. A Mako-based suspension He'll system is interesting. What if he's cheating on me with some topside slut right now? <laughs> we did not expect that. What? <laughs> 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 I did not expect that either. I do not remember hearing that last time I played this. 
I love how that was her response. That was Square Enix saying this is what the player is going to be thinking right about now when they hear this line. You know that, right? <laughs> what if he's cheating on me with some topside slut right now? Oh my god. I don't have time for this. That escalated quick. I'm sorry, but we've received no updates since we were told to suspend service this morning. How will I get to work? You owe us! I'm truly sorry. But all I can say is the whole of Shinra's Railway Division is working to rectify this issue. He just said this morning. You know, I know Cloud just woke up and all that. I do. Um, but like, it's already like Wait, afternoon, again, which makes sense because, you know, he didn't exactly go to bed like before midnight. Like the Mako reactor attack and everything was it was already nighttime. So it's implied that it was pretty late, right? But what I like is that when you start doing the side quests with Tifa, as you do more side quests, you actually see the time of day changing. You'll see the sun going down gradually with each side quest that you do. And then when you're, when you like turn in the last one, you'll, you'll notice that it's like, it's very, the lighting is very different. Like the sun is almost completely set at that point. Yeah, I know you do. think there'll be any emergency trip. Boy, I'd love to work on the plane. It's a nice effect, I guess. A nice touch. Found out who bombed the reactor. If you think about it, mm -hmm. I've seen that poster. Huh? Let me see. Okay, so we we just have this street to check, the front of the bar, this street, this street, and then this over here. This area. There are so many NPCs to talk to, man. Or I guess listen in on their conversations. If the planet's a living being, we should be burned. I think we. Okay, here we go. Sorry for all the people who can't get to work up top. Me too. I'd hate to have my pay doc for that. That's the worst. My wife's worried that if this goes on much longer, we're gonna have some tough decisions to make. Have you ever tried saving money? Yeah. Have you ever heard the phrase "living hand to mouth"? Our daughter deserves to go to a good school top side. It's not that simple. Plus, there's no guarantee it'll help her get a high paying job. Yeah, and I don't even like studying. College is a scam for a lot of degrees, yeah. Today. A lot of career not paths. Anymore. Looks like I'm not the only one who got the day off today. <sighs> oh, that's why they were. Imp Please that's why there's so job. many people that are just here. Asked your parents. Since the train isn't moving, people aren't going to work, so it's really crowded because of that, yeah. And her comment, that chick over there makes sense now, when she said, there's so many people today. Nobody can go anywhere. So Everybody's stranded here. Avalanche's fault? The bombing of Mako Reactor 1. Apparently, the Centurion Expressway carried collapsed. Carried out by the eco terrorist organization known as Avalanche. The terrorists have a history of targeting Shinra facilities and employees. They were saying there's parts of sectors 1 and 8 that still don't have power. Well, at least we know who to blame. If Avalanche did it, they had to have done it for the sake of the planet, right? As well as promised us that they would do everything in their power to restore peace and order to our fair city. You can't hide forever, Avalanche. You're going down. So Avalanche did all the same things? The eco-terrorist organization known as Avalanche. My sister on the plate came down to visit me, and she looked like a completely different person. I wish I could live topside like her. Somebody who made it up. Who's gonna ride him? A husky guy and a mean guy. But it doesn't matter. All you need to know is they both give us a lot of business. Thanks and much. It's times like this that remind you how inconvenient life is down here. Man, if I could only live topside. That's never gonna happen on my salary, though. Don't say that. I know where you're coming from, but it's about more than our personal comfort. Shinra enriches everyone's lives with Mako energy. You should focus on all the good you're doing for the world. I know, you're right, but... That said, the higher I climb, the more zeros you two are gonna see in your paychecks. Now that's what I'm talking about. Looking forward to it. Of course.
Helps to have friends in high places, right? Always. Hello there. You must be that friend of Tifa's I've heard so much about. The mercenary? I've got fingers in a few pies myself. Worked with a lot of businesses. Even Seventh Heaven, on occasion. <laughs> what I'm saying is, you and me, we're not so different. And certainly not complete strangers. <sighs> in fact, I want you to think of me as family. You know, an uncle or maybe a distant relative. All right. Oh, but while I have you here, you wouldn't happen to be interested in grappling guns, would you? Great for getting up or down in a jiffy. I ordered some for a client, but I accidentally added a zero, and now I have a ton to spare. Was thinking of setting up an attraction where you jump from the top of the Shinra building. You know, for the adrenaline junkies. But the fellas at Shinra didn't think it was such a great idea. <laughs> that reminded me of what happens later in the game. Hey, Merc, what's with the glum face? You know, you ought to meet my son, Johnny. He'll turn that frown upside down. He's got a big old heart and a real way with people. Can't help but cheer him up. Or maybe that's just how I see him, because he's my son. <laughs> Hello there. You must be that okay, friend of Tifa's over. I've heard. I've got fingers. <laughs> In fact, I want you to think of me as family. You. you were right, boss. It was those avalanche terrorists that bombed the reactor. We won't let them beat us. Not ever. Right. Once the trains are running, we'll head to the office and do whatever we can to help. That's how we can fight back against terrorism. The naivety. Go, uh, going back to their first conversation, though, I was going to comment on how they said, you know, how I said that it helps to have friends in high places. That's really what it comes down to, our society. It's not, I mean, I think we've all heard this saying before, especially growing up. It's not what you know, it's who you know. I never understood the deeper ramifications of that when I heard that as a like as a teenager and close to the end of high school when you know talking about like jobs and stuff people would tell me that like adults and stuff would be like oh at the end of the day it's not what you know it's who you know and it's just kind of like I never really thought too much about it I was like I had the naivety of thinking well no you can still get by just from having like a good uh you know, good knowledge and some kind of skill set. You know, a good career. No, it really is who you know. <laughs> no matter, like, your degree, your skills and all that. A lot of, um... Like, you can get by like that. But somebody could... Somebody doing the same thing as you can get, like, miles ahead of you. Really easily. Um... Just by knowing the right people. Which could all be complete luck. Could be just somebody you, you meet on the street by random chance, whatever. But connections is what I'm getting at. Having connections gets you a lot farther in society than just knowing certain things. I guess people can just completely skip over college and get a job at like fucking Merrill Lynch or some like Wall Street company without knowing a goddamn thing just because their dad knows somebody there, you know? Um, things like that. Johnny's not a bad guy. Pretty big mouth that he doesn't know when to keep shut. You gotta love him for who he is. I know. I forgot about this song, Hip Hop the Chocobo. This guy's got a knife. He's ready to throw down, man. Come on. Get something in here to eat. Or not. Nothing but trash. Damn, dude. Dumpster diving for food. The struggle is fucking real down here. Danger. Falling debris. Keep out. Not going that way. What the hell? Where does this lead? Might just be for a side quest or something. I can't remember what that area is for. Come on. Uh, is 
somewhere. Where's the tunnel? Wait, who was talking to me? This guy? Shit. Night can't go fast enough. I mean, hey, what's money good for is not to spend on a pretty face. You know what I'm saying? Or just staying alive. Shops for some people. Street, stock goods you won't find in more reputable establishments. Never ask folks about their suppliers. They don't take kindly to questions. Got the latest and greatest Shinra brand goods for you right here. Stuff nobody's even selling yet. Hey, this look like a blood stain to you. Shit, that always there? Huh. Don't know how we missed it during the inspection. Better not make it a habit, or we'll lose out. I'll have a little chat with my man. Huh. Huh? The vacant lot up ahead is overrun with wild beasts. Best steer clear unless you're looking for trouble. Even if you are, be careful. Some folks use the lot for meetups. Seedy types who like their privacy and don't take kindly to interruptions. The vacant lot up ahead is overrun. Even if you are, be careful. Oh, he means this area? grenades I gotta toss one at some point just to see the animation for that you ever take a stroll down Colbert Street of course not full of thugs and creeps isn't it nah just some sketchy stores not the least bit curious um, I don't know if that's my thing <laughs> He forgot the fucking words. Happens to me all the time. Instant food shop. We got a McDonald's a here. Finds an aspiring actor. If you're interested in seeing Loveless, I could ask her to help get you a ticket. The expensive? You could probably afford a standing ticket in the Grand Circle. How's about you and me get a room to play pin the tail further on the chocobo? Is that like a new favorite pickup line down in Walmart? Who the hell knows? Another day I can't work because I can't get plate side. I'm getting sick of this. Probably so crowded because everyone else is stuck down here. Chili beans! Get your chili beans! A Sector 7 favorite! How about it? Y'all won't find better beans this side of the plate! Here's the drinking all day long. Descend and debauchery. Wife's probably going to give me shit. Blame it on the bomb. Ain't your fault. True. True. We can do that. Any chili beans? Just all across the way does. Hmm. Platy. Am I right? Huh? A local boy would know what a stall's selling just by the look of it. That's all. Blame it on the bomb. Ain't your fault. You can tell he's from the top of the plate. A platy. A nice nickname. We got rats! Fucking rat jam over here. Just imagine if rich people start thinking it's safer down here than on the plate. Enough of them move down here. Life's bound to change for the better, no? Keep dreaming, buddy. Yeah, exactly. They'll just run your ass off the property and turn it into affluent neighborhoods with much higher prices than you can afford. Um... Gentrification. They'll just do that down here. It won't help you at all. My husband decided Unless you become real good friends with one of them. See if it had gotten any better. The bombings made such a mess of everything. So they blew up a reactor so they could save the planet? 
More like they want us to give up our way of life. There will be no way of life for anyone if we kill the planet. Yeah. So the environmentalists say. But I say people and their jobs and their families have to come first. Otherwise, what's the point? Being alive? <laughs> None of what you said is going to exist anymore if we all die because the planet died. Nothing to Ask report. backwards priorities right there. Apparently it was done by a terrorist. Oh yeah, this street. I haven't gone down this one yet. Me, or are there more cats hanging around that vacant lot lately? I think they're coming from the children's center. I wonder if he's coming home soon. I have a lot of options when it comes to food these days. Other oh. shops are looking pretty bare too. Everybody's feeling the effects of the bombing. You were supposed to be working in sector eight yesterday. You told me you had an interview in Sector 1. I can't believe you were on a date in Sector 4. Uh, you took a girl out to Wall Market on a birthday date. Damn, you were both cheating on each other. My Jesus. Dad, what's the big sword for? Self-defense. I swear. Totally not, you know. monsters here. Ain't no monsters here. A mercenary for hire that might soon turn into a permanent avalanche member leading attacks against Shinra. I wonder if everyone in Sector 8 is okay. I was like, what is this, trash hmm. bags? I heard they still haven't managed to put out the reactor fire. Huh? We're gonna find the best bargains yet! We're gonna be Midgar's next trendsetters. Look out, world! Our style is unstoppable! Don't try anything funny or you'll get it. The kids seem to think you're pretty cool. Don't you just love this material? It's so sleek and smooth. It's amazing! Everything looks great on you! You're not making this easy. Amazing. <laughs> Sectors 1 and 8 got hit too. I figured I should at least stock up on food for my kids before there's nothing left. Food's not the only thing we'll need. I gotta buy toilet paper quick. <gasps> Bro, <laughs> this came out in April of 2020. They were not predicting what people were gonna fucking do with COVID. That's just there. Like, that's in. That's just there. That just happens to be there, man. That's. <laughs> that's actually fucking cool. That hits harder. No, it's like... Like, it's... It's pretty fucking funny for that reason, but it's not as, like, spot on and just, like, holy shit as Resident Evil 3's intro. Resident Evil 3 Remake literally came out... At the very beginning of April? Like, it was almost... It's just, like, a week or two before this game. Um... And the intro to it is just, like, it it's a big news report of the chaos going on from the virus starting to spread and dude it's like you know the, the t virus going everywhere and it's just it, people were just like this feels way too fucking real because the news report sounded way too much like what you were hearing about covid when it started spreading it was crazy we won't be getting but her making that comment about the toilet paper jesus christ that just brings back memories why were people buying up toilet paper of all things when that shit happened it's until the train start again Hopefully we'll get an update on the situation soon by then. Best case scenario, our supply lasts through the day after tomorrow. It's not bad, but it's not what the people on TV are wearing. You don't need what the people on TV are wearing. You need affordable clothes like what they have here. Yeah, that's what advertising does. It distorts your values. You start turning needs and you start turning wants into needs. I can't just wear any clothes. That has to be the fancy shit. No. Hey, motherfucker, you just need clothes. Lacks what you want. Trust me, it's magic. Hides all the stains. 
That's true. I do like black for that reason, actually. I like it as a color just as it is, but I do love that secondary advantage where you won't notice stains on it. Sure, why don't you? <laughs> I was a kid, I think, walking by. I mean, I can. I can just do this. Photo mode. There se doesn't seem to be a lot going on in this little alley. And I already talked to these fools. The watch guy Biggs lives, right? Heard he's like a major neat freak. If only he'd clean my place. Is he? The kids seem to think you're pretty cool. He's got some OCD, huh? Fear is in the mind. Fear is in the mind. Saying that. Okay, we've traversed this entire thing like this. And all the way around over here. Over here, we checked, yeah, all this shit out. A little bit of this area. This. Oh, I forgot to go in here. I kind of just... I went this way and then crossed this street and crossed this street. Okay, so I guess all that's left is to check this little area here. Is it just me, or are there more cats hanging around that vacant lot lately? Hmm, looking good. Quality product makes a huge difference. Just like that. Missed out on my chance to live next door to Tifa. Hmm? Oh, because I got the apartment. You <laughs> The poor bastard has no idea I don't have to pay rent either. Should have snatched it up, fool. Gotta stay focused, even on break. It's the little noises that worry. There's this one weirdo who lives there too. I was gonna jump oh, on that empty room at Stargazer Heights, but someone beat me to it. Oh, the weirdo, he means the guy that we almost assaulted last night and that Ooh, seemed to yeah. Looking good. Quality 49. product makes a huge difference. Just like that. Tattoo 49 guy. From last night. bottles of adrenaline the hell's adrenaline for i think it helps i think that's the new hyper right the, uh, i like how you can jump over this just easily yeah. yeah i think adrenaline is supposed to be hyper so your limit break gauge fills up faster i think so i don't know though Now we check this whole place. I missed this my first time through just now. Even on break. Like earlier right now, I'm not talking about my first playthrough. Let me go down this way first. Oh, 
gotta do something about the monsters on Scrap Boulevard. I'll head on down there first thing tomorrow. Not alone, you won't. Someone looks like they're having a bad day. Try getting more sleep. That's the best cure all down here. He's telling the fucking truth right there. Them some facts he's spitting. Get if some sleep. Come into town. We'll be the first to warn everybody. Sleep will give you superpowers. Again, somebody else has said something that my T-shirt would agree with. For real though, like sleep is underrated. You got this. You got this. When it comes to uh, looking after your health, I would say it's the number one, the number one thing you could do for your health is get good sleep. Still got some left in the tank. Really sucks for people who legitimately suffer from insomnia. Like really though, I'd say the number one thing for your health is sleep, then diet, then exercise. Those are the top three things, um, but it's a hierarchy. It's definitely sleep first, diet second, and then exercise third. But they're all close. It's not like like that. It's more like it's more like sleep, diet, exercise, like that. Like it's a, they're they're very closely related. You gotta do all three. Hold on! Don't tell me you're making that face because you think it looks cool. Are you? <laughs> making fun of the 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 look. Cloud has all the time on his face. That's. <laughs> we gotta do something about the monsters on Scrap Boulevard. I'll head on down there first thing tomorrow. Not alone, you won't. Oh, we heard this already. Wait, there was no way down anywhere else. Oh, hold on. We gotta do something about the monsters on Scrap Boulevard. Oh, I guess this door probably opens later. Yeah. Not alone, you won't. Yeah. Okay, it's later. Not yet. Even our facilities are starting to I think it's the same thing with this. It's not open yet. Nope. Everybody does. The story brings us here later. Guy who lives yeah, we're good. <sighs> okay, I think that is every square inch of this place. We have overheard every goddamn conversation, I believe. The only place I'm in doubt about is... Yeah, the playground is this little. Yeah, no, yeah, we've we've talked to basically oh, fucking everybody now. Oh. Oh, this is just the front porch. Good. Not on the map, and I was like, "What's that?" Oh, that's it. What canned goods? One of the Entwall girls who got cast in a Sector Eight production sent me tickets to her next performance. That's so cool. But, uh, it wasn't cancelled because of the bombing or anything. I don't think so. The theater's pretty far from the reactor, and she told me it was still on when I asked. Okay, so the one street I forgot is this. I was only thinking of these two right here. This street. Oh, yeah, we did everything else. All that's left is the, f the very front of the bar, and then going into the bar itself. Um, she... Oh, can't you learn? You have to treat them with kindness and respect. Were you even listening to Wedge? Hi, kitty. Wanna be my friend? Wedge is the cat whisperer, eh? what you want trust me it's magic hides all the stains oh right we heard that yeah all right i guess it's just this way not unless it's on the list tifa's got a knack for serving the perfect drink something hard but clean and crisp something hard but clean and crisp. Everyone seems so calm Ooh. and composed. Yes, enjoy yourselves. It's like they don't even care a reactor blew up. Hope he's okay. Last I knew, he was posted in reactor one. 
haven't heard from him since it blew. Oof. You can do it. Need some help with that, buddy? There are so many people who just don't get that the planet is a living thing. This gym was brainwashed. Yeah. Like what I was saying earlier about advertising. Don't rush it and drop your tools. Take your time now, okay? Hmm. Let's see if we can cut a deal with one of the shops in Sector 3. <laughs> if not, can always ask Shinra. They won't do us any favors. You know, a lot of folks say the shops on Culvert Street sell stuff you can't find anywhere else. Like what? No idea, but I'm dying to find out. I think we heard that already, yeah. Um, okay. That's, yeah, there's my steps right there. That's everything. If I missed anything, well, fuck it, man. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's Don't it, though. Take your eyes off it. The hell? Everyone's worried they're gonna run out of money soon. It's a sad day when people care more about what's in their wallet and what's happening to the planet. Because they're forced into it. Into having to care more about what's in their wallet. The economic oppression will do that. There's a lot of... I ever heard this from somebody when, when I was on vacation. Um... Somebody mentioned that a lot of people are apathetic to, like, activist organizations or just activities that... to help, like, promote a cause. Or, like, like this. Let's just, you know, I won't go into too much, like, details about what they were talking about, but... Um... And he said I, that he found out that a lot of the apathy comes from the fact that once people have done to, gone through their daily routine of having to work a goddamn 9 to 5 and done a bunch of other responsibilities that they gotta do, on a daily or weekly basis, they just, they're too fucking tired to care about anything else anymore. So it's like, even though they want to help, you know, like, push forward an activist cause, they just, they're just mentally and physically like, too exhausted to really want to do anything anymore by the time they're at the end, like, especially when it comes to the working class, you know? Um, when you work like a 9 to 5 that pays you shit. It's just, and that's where a lot of apathy comes from. It's like, it's not that they don't care, it's just that they no longer have the energy to care by the time they're done with their day. And the more impoverished someone is, the longer and harder their days are, so the less they're gonna be able to afford to care, basically. And I think he's definitely onto something because I think that's why a lot of um, activists for most social, co social causes of different kinds come from like the middle class. Because they have more breathing room. The middle class has a little bit more breathing room because of, uh, they get paid a little bit better and don't have to work as long hours um, as people who are a lot more broke. So then they have a little bit of extra energy to actually, like, you know, find out what kind of shit's happening and try to help with causes like, you know, like what Avalanche is doing, the planet, yada yada, environmentalism, anything you can think of like that. The poor aren't allowed to have the energy and time to care, basically. Because they're so goddamn oppressed with shitty wage jobs that they just... They, they don't have... They can't afford the time or money. Welcome to 7th Heaven, that little sign over there. I really wish you could go into first person in this game. Just to be able to see things in better detail sometimes, you know? Alright, I'm gonna take a break here. Yeah, I have time for one more segment, but that's about it. I'll take a break here, and then we'll do one more one-hour segment when I get back. Yeah, I'll leave it like that. Oh, I did want to save, though, real quick. I think I did, should start making, a, you know, some more manual saves. We haven't really done anything, so... I'll just save here. All we did was talk to people. NPCs. There we go. All right, BRB. I like that this game explores all that stuff too, like environmentalism, but also, you know, class divide, class division, all that stuff that I commented on just now. Social hierarchies, poverty, difference between the rich and the poor. Even the original game did, but this game has the luxury of being able to explore these concepts way more with the way they remade it. All of Midgar is this game, the next game is everything, like a bunch of shit that happens after, yada yada. Being able to flesh out the game a lot more like this, 
gave them that breathing room to be able to explore a lot more of the themes that were in the original game that maybe some people didn't catch right away. Um, or even if they did, you know, they, they weren't as fleshed out. So I think that's pretty cool. All right, be back in a bit. Surprise, motherfucker. All right, I'm back, but uh, I saw the time and I'm just like, I don't have time for another segment. I'm glad I can edit these videos now. Um, or I learned how to like edit them even before exporting them to YouTube because now I can just like cut out that entire break and just put this little part right here where I'm talking right now at the end. This is just a tiny little segment that it'll just fade right into where I'm just like, yeah, I'm not doing another segment. You know, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm going to bed. Um, yeah, I got to get ready for bed. So I thought I could get like one more segment, but no, nah, it'll just be like 15, 20 minutes and... I'm already pretty tired, um, so I think, because I, I want to try to do this whole side quest section in one go, which is about to start as soon as I go into this bar, and there's going to be cutscenes of course, and yada yada, so, um, I'd like to get the whole next section done in one, one fell swoop, so I'll, I think we'll just open up with this section tomorrow, and I just saved it right here, so I'll just load this, I'll just, yeah, I'll just stop literally right here, and then load the file, and we'll start right from here in the next video, um, yeah, I gotta go get ready for bed, so I will see you all next time. As always, please take care of yourselves, stay safe out there, look after each other, and until next time, I hope you all have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, and good night. And I will see you all then. Peace, and don't die. Yeah, I didn't forget. <laughs> Bitch.